Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone, and welcome to another stream of Silent Hill Shattered Memories. This is Hippie Tesla, of course. Wow, I first time I ever watched it. It was the first time for everything. I'm very excited, very happy to see so many people love this game. It's my second favorite Silent Hill game, and I really wanted to stream it for um, for Delmar here and Lupka. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it, so we were like, oh, what the heck? <laughs> Never too many Shattered Memories streams. And it's one of those things I like replaying now and then. So welcome everyone. Lupka, Gavin, Zombie. Did I miss someone? Terra. Terra, I haven't seen you in quite a while. Now we've started seeing each other. That makes me happy. Delmar, of course. So the last one we did, last Saturday we did a... Uh, like this, a casual run. So we're not going for a specific ending. But what I'm gonna go, gonna go, gonna 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 gonna. <laughs> what I'm gonna do here now is, uh, well, what I always wanted to. You guys make the choices. This game, as you might have seen, psychologically profiles the player. So one thing that won't be able, <laughs> nobody will be able to affect is what I look at instantly. But if you want me to look at something, because the game actually takes note at what you look at while lo looking for your daughter. And the other part with uh, with uh, psychiatrist Michael Kaufman, yeah, that part you ch you guys choose the colors, the everything. We're gonna do it the way the viewers want. So let's get into it right away. We want to beat the whole game again. It's a short game, but you know, with the choices and everything, can take a while. Not yet, zombie. Very soon, very soon, buddy. It's on the task list. Don't worry. This week, before the next outbreak stream, you're gonna have it. More fucked up than the last. Yeah, even Delmar didn't see some of those things I got last time. So we'll see, we'll see. Alright, 15 hours a, a week is not horrible. That's actually pretty good. So yeah, flexible extra hours. Well, congrats. Things are falling into place. Man, I'm already emotional starting this again, but... Uh, in a good way. So for those who don't know, this is the Silent Hill Shared Memories is the seventh game in the series, but it's a reimagining of the very first Silent Hill, which means that I've never heard that or seen that before, a reimagining. They're literally using the same characters and themes, but putting them into completely different situations in a way. You'll still meet all the same characters. It's Harry Mason and Cheryl Mason, uh, Harry looking for his daughter. So, uh, Dr. Michael Kaufman has a different role. Uh, Nurse Lisa Garland has a different role. But they're all here. Akira Yamaoka, that's the last Sound, Sound Hill soundtrack um, Akira ever did. And every time she says, I love my daddy, it stings. Yeah. I love my daddy. Yeah. She was a stormtrooper. Uh, <laughs> a state trooper. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, really? Wait, what do you mean? Tara, please do elaborate. How's the audio? Well, when Michael Kaufman starts talking, let me know how. Uh, how's the audio compared to this? Silent Hill 3. Man, between Silent Hill 2, 3 and this game, soundtracks are just top notch. <laughs> I don't want to break your heart. No, that's nothing bad. Actually, it sounds like it when I say it, but... Silent Hill 3 is my f least favorite in the series, in a way. A still an amazing game, a masterpiece, but it's like... Just comparing the... The, the five, well, eight, nine great games. I got some gripes with it, but I love the atmosphere. I, I adore Heather, the protagonist, best in the series. Music, probably the best soundtrack. I just have... Ugh. Oh, nice, yeah, the best soundtrack, like I said, I think it's in Silent Hill 3. Not even Silent Hill 2. Amazingly. Yes? The new patient is here. They're early. That's fine. We can start now. All right, it's picking up a little sound, but it shouldn't be too bad. Starts with a car crash. Is it a Jeep Wrangler though? I don't know. I don't know what the... What, 
it doesn't look like the same car, but you know, they probably wouldn't have the license by Shutter Memories, like you know, because in the 90s, developers did that. We talked about Resident Evil and guns using actual models. I don't know if this is an actual car. It's not. A, this is a no. This is a station wagon. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Now I remember. I'm glad you came. Just turning up shows your commitment to the process. Good. I've read your notes. The other therapist didn't work out for you. I want you to know this will be different. We take this at your pace. No notes. No drugs. Get ready, Lupka, no Delmar, notes. and everyone else. We go back to the start. I need some choices here. Take a look at this short form. I promise it's the only one you'll see during your therapy. Try to answer truthfully. He didn't lie in a way. It's easier that way. All right, so we got to answer this before you can continue. Garner Sobel personality inventory form K. <laughs> Check the boxes. So I make friends easily. Well, you just guys tell me true, false, true, false in order, and I'll put them up. Ready, go. I make friends easily. True, false. The next, true, false. Having a drink helps me relax. <laughs> well, let's see what kind of hair you guys make. Because the game will use this information against us. <laughs> false, alright. Yeah, just say what, what you want, guys. Just go in order. False, true, false, tr false, false, true, false, false. <laughs> Lupka, make the choice. Go, Lupka. Having a dre drink. All right. I always listen to other people's feelings. F. Zombie says, fuck that. <laughs> I prefer abstract ideas. True. There you go. I have enjoyed roleplay during sex. True or, f true or false. Actually, one of the most crucial questions in the first questionnaire. True, yes. Working to a plan or schedule is best. True, 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 you. <laughs> true. And finally, I have never cheated on a partner. True. All right, here we go. <laughs> Doc? Never cheated on a partner? Really? I'm gonna say yes because <laughs> because uh, you guys already said true. Okay. Okay, he's like okay. <laughs> I'll believe you if you say so. Let's get started then. It looks like fin Finlandia vodka or something like that behind him. So we're retelling the story what happened in the past. Cheryl. Cheryl? Sweetie? Oh my god. It's an excellent game, Luca. Many people don't like it as a Sun Hill game. They don't Cheryl? consider it a true Sun Hill game. But for me, like it goes Sun Hill 2, then Sun Hill Shutter Cheryl? Memories. That's the top Cheryl? tier. Everybody 90% of people agrees that Sun Hill 2 is the best, but, you know, this one is divisive. So, our mission is to find a daughter that we lost. And literally, the game is different. It was made for the Wii, and this is the PlayStation 2 port, the only one I have. But I will get the Wii version at some point. And the game, literally what you look at, it'll take note. So, for instance, this is the first example. It's not Cheryl's. So if you want to look at something in the background, let me know, I'll stop and take a look. 3-2 Shutter Memories, then one. I love that order, that is a great order. Don't, don't, <laughs> like, again, it's for Silent Hill 3. Because I've heard some confusion about that from people, like, you say you hate Silent Hill 3, but then you play it and you're like, no, I don't hate it. I just think among all the Silent Hill games, it's my least favorite, but it's still, like, over 50% of games I would normally play. So I'm just going to look for her and... Call her sometimes. Cheryl. Get into this. RP this shit. Cheryl. Was it this way? 
Wait, I'm not jumping. Oh yeah, there's a <laughs> yeah, there's a barbed wire. Of course, I'm not jumping. I'm going this way. You can look at stuff. Like I said, so he'll know. Like you can, you can even take him the alcoholic way. Last time we got the ending that's called the weak, weak and the wicked, where he was abused by his. Uh, Well, family, let's say. Hey. Yeah, he, he does comment like a man with a soul. For, on almost anything. Can I comment on the beer? Nah. He had one comment in the room. Everyone has... Yeah, exactly. Everyone has their opinions. And well, you know, we're supposed to be able to talk about it. Why do you think this one's better? Why do I think this one's better? There are many rooms you don't even have to go to, but again, this is for... Lupka knows the, the least, so, you know, there we go. Carmi, mm, boom. Cammy. Cammy. And he commented on it, so we can take him down the road. Spit rusted by the entire Kuko's offense here. Cheap leader whore. Kuko's rule. So it's like, your standard bathroom stuff. <laughs> So everybody knows what, what we're doing. When you want me to stop, let me know. Of course, people have different opinions about Silent Hill games, but the game, this game in soundtrack based one of the best match without... Yeah, exactly. It, like the atmos it just describes the atmosphere. You hear these sounds, you know it's Shatter Memories. You can't think it's anything else. Wasn't there something here? Oh, no, that's later, right? There's no other ray. Yeah, and a lot of track names are in that vein. So here we go, some of that Wii puzzleness, which is what grinds a lot of people the wrong way, which I understand. I mean, this doesn't bother me. It's like, okay, I'm interacting with the game. I'm interested in the story mode, so. Not only that, it's nice having one where you have to run and not fight to live. Yeah, you know, like I say that every time I stream this, but first time I played it, I was like, I'm getting a gun. I'm getting a gun. I'm about to get the gun. Yeah, I'm getting a gun. Oh my god, the game's ended. <laughs> this is the final room. I'm not getting a gun. I kept thinking like the entire game. Yeah, I'm about to get a gun. This is Silent Hill game. Of course I'm gonna get a gun. Oh, again? At the same time? Hold on, guys. Reconnecting. Yeah, the... Slobs work. So we know. Come on, reconnecting. You can do it. Man, it takes long to reconnect. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is good because uh because the fact that slobs work it means it, it's the service is not down it's just oh there we go it's back we're back and we're live well i don't know why it does that every few days like it just disconnects near the start of the stream thank you i'm gonna refresh the chat but yeah there we go and the chat works everything works excellent all right all right hello gamut welcome to the stream good morning good to see you Hope you have a great day at work and enjoy this wonderful game, brother. All right. Pretobom sudva puta. So we got two routes now. The game will often split into two routes, and which the one you pick can affect the out. So the game changes dynamically. I should have said that. Depending on what we choose. People and locations will look differently. Different locations will be accessible. Different conversations will happen. I still have beaten this game 20 times. I still haven't seen everything in it. So last time, last time we've uh, we've gotten uh, a few things like Delmar and I have noticed that we've never seen. Like the a few people look differently. A few scenes were a little different. Quite a bit different actually. So this time, 
Oh, nice gamut. You might like this. We just started. I'm at the psychiatrist. I'm telling him a story from my past. And I'm playing this story where my car crashed and I lost my daughter. And I'm looking for her. It's a retelling of the very first Silent Hill game. But not the remake. It's an actual retelling. Same characters in different situations and scenarios. But the same themes. So yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's the gist of it. So we got the clear picture cameras and appliances or we got the wedding stuff store so you guys i think this is like yeah the dress store yeah clothing store which one clothing store or the or the video editing store or whatever video all right let's go video store ah uh. <laughs> split him in two splitted memories all right it's a video store <laughs> yeah something's playing all right unlock somewhere else often Harry will find his pad blocked by a locked door so just to solve the puzzle this also changes every time I play I get a different message here. Wow. Yeah, so this is a granny. Sometimes it's a younger woman. And she doesn't even say clearly what's it about. There's the editing booth. Oh look, there's a there's a wedding video shot. Alright, don't forget to buzz. There we go. I've played and watched this game thousand times, so it's better Lupka to make choice. Now, whoever says it first, basically. <laughs> Alright. So it's unlocked, but... Oh yeah, we'll be back here, that's right. So we already set some paths by me looking at those two sexy posters. And uh, I don't know what else I looked at and choosing this location. So remember, looking at stuff counts. <laughs> Nice, Lupka. There you go. Delmar is a good sport. It's just grass, alright? Alright. Gonna need a key. <laughs> You'll love it. I wish they made a movie after this, but you know, if they could make a movie that changes every time you play, this is the puzzle that Senpai used as, <laughs> as an example of shitty puzzle design. Is it that one? No, it's not. Yeah, it's this one. Because it's a Wii game. I don't. I think they didn't know how else to like make these work. They were like, you know what? Use motion controls and just like make everything work with motion. All right, let's see if we. Yeah, there's a there's a. I think yeah, this is the street where we can start for the UFO landing, but we won't. So right now we also have two locations. One of them is Diner 51, 52. Yeah, PS2. I'm playing the PS2 version right now, but uh, there is a originally it was on the Wii, and I want to get it there just for be better frame rate because this game on the PS2, it's one of the last games released on the console, and uh, it shows. Where's the where's the flashlight? I forgot which button. Triangle, yeah. So as soon as you turn off the flashlight, the game runs at full 50 or 60 hertz right now. It's just a lower frame rate on the stream because I'm deinterlacing the recording, but. Uh, the flashlight really slows it down. On the Wii, I don't think that's the case. So right now, we already sealed our fate. This is one of the locations we could have gone to. Good old days. Pub. But it's already sealed off. So we're going to the 52 Diner. Let's see what kind of Sybil we got. Oh, it's the same. It's the it's the SWAT Sybil. All right.
on PS4. Wow. Wait, the remake? I need your help. Cars stuck in the snow? Okay, it's same like at the same time. I don't know what what I did. It's my daughter. She's missing. She run off? We were in a car accident. When I came to, she was gone. Car accident? And where did this happen? The highway, just outside town. I came off the verge and ended up in the junkyard. My daughter's missing. That road's not in my jurisdiction. What? You want state police. You're kidding. Nice. My daughter is out there. You have to find her. A lot of people need help tonight. Look around. The whole she's bitchy again. You're screwing with me. Can I see your license? Man, she's tough. All right. I think it's the answers in the first questionnaire that uh, make her, that forms her personality. I'm not Mason, sure. Levin Street. Says here you live on Levin She's Street? instantly nicer. Yeah. Yes. Huh. Sure hope you weren't drinking before you had your crash. Look, chances are your girl headed home, right? It's only a few blocks away. Here we go. Sir, you gonna answer your phone? Sir, you on drugs? Oh. Phone, yeah. I have a phone, of course, with human hands. They hung up. That was probably your girl. The storm's making the phones act up. All units, please respond. Unconfirmed reports of a potential looting. Finney Street, we know where it is for Silent Hill 1. Okay, I gotta go. What? Look, go home. Your daughter will be there. She can be very nice from neutral to like totally bitchy. This is no time for running around town. Oh, she'll soften up, I think. I think you can keep her pissed as well. That's me asking nicely. Oh, sorry. Rock and roll. All right, we got the cell phone, which you can use to save your game, use the map, change settings. You can even save photos. They, they are saved to your profile. Call people. You can call any number you see in the game. You can call it. And there's a, there's so much, I don't know. I can't even... I've, I've never seen everything. There's so much to see here and here over the years of playing, which is, you know, why I love and respect this game so much. I'm just looking for a phone. Let's see, for instance, I want to call 911. I lost my daughter, right? You can do something as silly as that. 911, what is your emergency? My daughter. My daughter's missing. 911, what is your emergency? My daughter's missing. Is there anyone there? Is this a prank call? No, no, my daughter... Okay, I'm going to hang up now. No, wait. Shit. They can't hear him. So that's like totally in the Sun Hill, in San, you know, in the Sun Hill feeling. And uh, yeah, you can call pretty much any any number you find there, any number you find in the game. You can like on the walls anywhere you can call. But you know, the whole game is constructed as a nightmare, so people can hear you. Like a tree falls and breaks the 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 phone. Like something always happens. Yeah, so you can use it for a map. I think it's left. Yeah, instantly go to map. You can see the whole map of Sun Hill. It's one of the best maps of the town in all of the games. And, you know, it looks a lot like the first game's map. Because, well, it is, <laughs> in a way. So we started where? Bachman Road? Is that where the... Yeah, Junkyard, where it is. So we were coming... It's like in the first game. We were coming down the Bachman Road and crashed at the Junkyard. And all these red locations are ones we can visit for now that we've found. We can... Uh, well, what did I... <laughs> well, yeah, it is. It's no secret. It's Sun Hill. And it gave me a waypoint where to go. But in this game, I don't use the map as much because I played it so many times, you know. So that's where I need to go. That's where I live. I gotta go back and see my family and see if my daughter's safe. Because the whole fucking town snowed in. <laughs> Not gonna do that. Delmar knows what that is. Ah. 
Echo photos. There is a layer of reality that cannot be say, seen with the naked eye. Something is odd about the swing in this playground. Try photographing it with the cell phone. All right, let's do that. So you can see there's like some kind of interference and a shadow. But if we get the camera and snap a photo of it, you can see there's a little girl on the swing there. On the one that's broken, what's worse? And you get a, you always get a piece of story for that. No call messages. Daddy, I'm hurt. Is that the Mr. Bean Bear? You're not gonna react to the bear, no? Right? Sometimes he's just stubborn, doesn't want to react to shit. Dead dog. That's a reference to the first Silent Hill. Right back the way we came. Fun fact, this is the very first game I played with dual stick controls. I, I, I haven't played Halo or any, like, not many shooters. Yeah, it was this, then The Suffering. My first dual stick games. Echo messages. Strong emotions have a habit of attaching themselves to objects. Something in this room is interfering with Harry's cell phone. Listen to the whine and hone in on the disturbance. Alright, so we're just looking. No, no. We're looking where that interference is coming from. So these messages in the story change every time as well. They're always, like, they're always themed the same, but different people or different situations may play out. To have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, in sickness and in health. Whatever ails us, whatever weaknesses our flesh may suffer under, our love will cure all ills. Our love will be our rock. Yeah, okay, this is different than the last time. You can never get an ident identical playthroughs. Hello, Miss Tiffany Chanel. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Oh, my mom is also somewhere in the audience. My question is to Right, so we gotta get towards... They're just people from the town. It'll make more sense later. For now, just think of them as people from the town. And remember that message we had with the raised wedding video? Well, we caught that video from the ether, The deleted one. Oh, I'm getting a call from home. Cheryl? Daddy? Daddy? Sweetie, you're okay? Are you at home? I love it. Here we go. Sweetie, wait there. Wait for me. You have to run, Daddy. You can't fight them. Run! What? Is somebody with you? Cheryl, I'm coming to get you. Here we go. Shit's hitting the fan. Oh, at full speed. Look how everything's warping. The ice is coming. Look at the lampos. I love this effect. For PS2, it's amazing. But this is also bad for us. The whole town is becoming a nightmare. You better run. I love this game. So this is like, this is making my day extremely well. Tiffany. Even the monsters will be different based on what we do. They can change appearance and they can look... Last time we got them the fuckiest I've ever seen. They looked broken. <laughs> you can't fight them, run. Here we go. Yeah, the like the coldness of emotions and everything, just like. Run at the blue edges that mark routes, listen to the distortion that precedes danger, find the exit to 11th Street and escape the nightmare. Here we go. You just gotta find the, the ending. You can look behind you if something's chasing you. It feels like first person, even though it's not first person, and I love that about the game. You feel claustrophobic. Look at this room. You can use the map, but I'm pretty sure in the first nightmare I can find my way, no problem. Left or right, let's go left.
Here we go, the music. Bum, 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 bum. What do you mean on hardest mode? What, does the Wii version have difficulties? You can hide in the lockers if there's danger. Under the beds, stuff like that. A la Resident Evil Outbreak. Let's look where I am. Yeah, I just need to go south. They're coming. I can hear them. They're in front of me. Yeah, there they are. Ha, we missed each other. Well, we can get the flare. Light the flare. The heat will hold off the creatures. You can also create a temporary barrier by throwing down the flare and pressing L1 again. Yeah, which is very useful many times in the game. But we're south. That's what I need to know. Oh, shit, here they're coming. Did I, did I block myself? Man, did I lose my... Like, I know this first one. I played it 700 times. <laughs> it gets lost instantly. Woo! Yep, going the wrong way. I need to go south and I'm going north. Oh, get off! There are many. They cannot be killed or hurt. Throw them off and run. Lose them, find the exit and escape the nightmare. I should, hell yeah, I'll lose them. Oh wait, I have the flare. So the other way around. I need to go south. They don't like it, so I drop it here. Keep going south. I think this is south. Yeah, it is. Damn, they're creepy. You're getting spidered. Man, what did I do wrong? Why am I here? I'm pretty sure I'm coming back now. Let's check. Okay, this could be it. There are often a few routes you can take to get to the same place. Oh, shit! Alright, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. We did it. Whew! Alright. Alright, that I wonder that could be one of the mechanics really, depending on how you answer it. It was on the PlayStation. I never played the Wii version, but the uh, PlayStation just has play game. At least I didn't see the It's good that we touched on the car crash. That would have been a breakthrough before. But let's leave that topic for a while. I want to talk about family. Get ready, Lupka. It's important. And everyone else. I don't mean all that touchy-feely crap. You're not a very touchy-feely person. So he's already forming an image about us. You're giving me that look. I'm talking too much. Well, let's have you talk, or not, or whatever you feel comfortable doing. Let's play true or false. Is it true to say you're a private person? Am I? I mean, is he? <laughs> yes. Would you say it takes a while for people to get to know you? Yes. Uh huh. People can choose their friends, but not their family. Would you prefer to spend time with friends over family? Friends over family or family first? No. Nothing surprising there. Now, you're going to like this. On the table are some pencils and a picture. I want you to let out your inner child and color in the picture. It's titled Happy Family. All right, let's color in the picture. Let's start with the color of the house. What kind? What color should the house be? Actually, write me stuff. You know, write in the chat, please. Uh, you know. Red car, car should be red, house should be blue, man should have a white shirt, green car, all right. Dark green or light green, I can always change it. Something like this. Pink house, all right, we got, we got pink house. They called it the flamingo place. 
the garage yellow house oh my god we're gonna make half pink half yellow then the top part will be yellow it was built at a different time <laughs> the car is green let's paint the tires you don't have to 100% this like the game will accept the main things are you know so if you want a different colored roof also let me know chimney too red barbie dream house <laughs> zombie is like what the hell i leave you guys alone for two minutes here making houses big though it is zombie i'm gonna admit that recently i've been looking at some you know because i'm interested in some houses yellow garage all right all right then we'll make a compromise pink house yellow garage there you go so it all looks the same it's gonna be trippy when we finish this what's gray i'm gonna say this is grayish a gray poupon oh my god it's blue that's not gray at all yeah let's make him brown brown shutter cold blue pants Ooh, here we go barbie dream house yeah I'm gonna make the windows cold blue because they're goddamn windows unless you want them tutti fruity ah no undo button no undo button there's a zoom button though all right go back to the car green it up what's what's I guess brown for the bottom there's no gray color it always bothered me there's no gray red pants black shirt for her huh red pants black shirt what about his shirt let's give him a, a darker blue shirt maybe how's this looking blue hairs you want to do have blue hairs all right zombie like light blue, I assume. So they can camouflage in with the sky. <laughs> you think they're gonna have blue hairs? <laughs> Hello, Mark. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to another run of Shatter Memories. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna make their skin orange. I don't know. They're Simpson cousins. But they were in Miami, so they got tanned. How am I gonna... Oh, yeah, I can zoom. Nope, my bad. I keep forgetting you can zoom. His belt is also orange. Well, we're not gonna have that. I think this will do. We'll give him a pink belt, because why not? <laughs> because, Mark, it's Shattered Memories. Wait, what was I doing? His belt. There you go, pink. We're gonna see what they... <laughs> <laughs> when they open the door oh my god uh no spoilers here we go <laughs> i can't wait to see what this is gonna be i was always too serious with this so it's time to do a little what last thing stairs and doors guys after stairs and doors i'm going in there whatever we got now let's make this darker oh, that's that's a nice color i'm gonna make the trees green because why not why not it already looks like something. Do something brown. There you go, brown. Brown. Two different browns. Green and orange trees. Oh my god, guys. Like green and orange. There you go. They look like cauliflower now. But sure, it actually kind of fits. <laughs> this is why we don't do drugs, kids. All right, mailbox is gonna be uh, uh, the what I call the purple nurple color. There you go, and then finally, mm, browner stairs. I'm gonna make stairs dark brown as well. Or you know what? Here you go, orange stairs. F fuck everything. Ta da! Blue puddle on the floor. All right, like right next to them, like here. Oh, that's not a puddle. Well, you can only color things. Sorry, Mark. 
they have the other part of the of it is darker blue because this it's frozen here oh shit that's horrible i shouldn't have done that Jeez. all right i think it's time to go this is good this is good enough we got the game's got something to go off it's pissed that water you said blue it shouldn't even be yellow if it's piss there you go they pissed themselves waiting for this photo that took ages to make here you go some pink shoes sir and ma'am we're making parrots here they're gonna we're gonna have two parrots so the, the picture is titled happy family this ha family is not happy they're fucking ecstatic look at this you're finished <laughs> no, no i'm not finished we gotta take a look at that once more just soak it in guys soak it in <laughs> uh, this is it yep you're finished what a lovely family home is your home like this <laughs> only on tuesdays <laughs> <laughs> Look at that house. Let's see how they're going to turn out. So Sybil is the same so far. Some memories are different. Echoes. I love this muffled sound. They're watching old old comedy shows hi there they don't have pink hairs blue hairs what are you doing in my house what kind of do i think you have the wrong address no this no is i have house. pink doors man <laughs> how door? many people have pink door oh, front door hi there. and what the are pink you house doing in my house this is our home we've been living here for a long time isn't that right mike 1206 levin street my name is harry mason this is my house. My daughter just called me from here. From here? Uh, Lucy, honey, you think perhaps our little princess has been up to her old tricks? We're sorry. Katie's been acting up. She likes to make prank calls. Prank call? Why are you Barbie playing asked. games with me? Sorry for any upset Katie has caused. Oh, different conversation. Okay. All right, different. This doesn't make any sense. This is all wrong. Like, look at that mailbox. Of course, Cheryl it's wrong. Is inside, isn't she? The only thing that doesn't make sense is your being here. Best. You're upsetting my wife. Why are you doing this to me? My daughter is in there. Oh, he looks more desperate, no, doesn't she's he? she's not. Please get off my property. All right. We got a different conversation. Again, probably depending on what you look at and how you, how you paint the house. <laughs> My sister wife. <laughs> but she's still SWAT. I wish she was differently. Oh, but you know. Mr. Mason. Shit. A reported disturbance came through on dispatch. The address rang a bell. Yes, there's been a disturbance. There are people in my house. I think they have my daughter. Hell of an accusation. I know yeah, we could make her horny. Mike Stewart is a doctor. You can't actually. You saw my license. This is my house. Let me see or at least horrifying. You had an accident. You know you're being punished. I can't raise the station on my radio. Let's go over there together and sort this mess out. Look, I'm sorry if I came across as a hard ass. All right, she's soft. Lot going on right now. I just bumped you up on my. I don't know if she can okay? really stay a bitch the entire game. Yeah, you can make her. So if I if I looked at a f quite a few, uh, like what do you call it, porn posters, sexy posters, uh, sh by the time we meet her, she would have been like almost in. You wouldn't be in bikini, but she would be provocatively dressed and. Uh, Officer Sybil Bennett. Well, mostly because she would have giant breasts. Daughter, I'll hold you responsible. She's not in the Stewart's house. How can you be so sure? I've been a cop okay, for 20 treatment. years, and all 20 of them in this town. I know the place, and I and know the dog people. house. I know a lot the of references. haven't kidnapped your daughter. They're in my house. Says your ID. You sure that's your house? Just how well is your head working, Harry? I haven't forgotten anything. Some things are fuzzy, <laughs> but the rest <laughs> I know. I know that was my house. What else? What else do you know? I'm Harry Mason. 
of my daughter. Okay, it's different. It's different. Live in Silent Hill. Yeah, we can. A living crap, pretty much. Conspiracy thrillers, murder mysteries. Sometimes, whatever they pay me for, I, I work for hire. My stuff is big in libraries. Never sees hardcover. Real life's a lot more boring than your stories. Go we'll find your daughter, Harry, and life can be normal again. S the town is so lively, man. I know it's just backdrop, but it's a really good backdrop. You can, so yeah, like I already said last time, but Lyubka doesn't know. If you look at people, if you look at people around people while you talk, it counts. If you look at uh, women's breasts while you talk to them, the game takes note. We should probably get you to the hospital too once we know she's safe. Fine. The human brain is a delicate thing, Harry. Need to get you checked out. Yeah. My dad thought he was tough. He got hit on the head by a punk resisting arrest. So pieces of conversations change, not the whole conversation. You look. look after yourself, Harry, for your daughter's sake. Point taken. Damn, it's really interesting. No, is crazy. It does. What does? I can't see the road. Yeah. Wait here. I'm just gonna check where we are. And she's off. Can you get her right away? I don't think you can. Where's she gone? All right, Hemingways. Mementos. This town is home to many lost and discarded objects. Although these mementos have no practical value or purpose, they once meant something to someone. This one's called Hidden Fire. It's a pack of Hemingway cigarettes, which uh, I'm pretty sure they're they're not to Ernest Hemingway, but also uh, there there was Detective Cartland from Silent Hill Three smokes them, and I think they're seen in a quite a few more games. My name is Harry Maslot, and I want my daughter. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it does. So if you're looking at their breast, yeah, it does. And it that's the best way to make the sleaze and the sirens ending. Let's get out of here, though. There's nothing here you can look at, no. But at least the frame rate's good for once, you know, until we get the flashlight out. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't do it. No, come, come back, Harry. Harry. There you go. Here <laughs> Probably. Where the guys when I where the guys then I want to see what happens when you look down then. What do you mean? In the ground? Yeah, I think you're like avoiding conflict probably. Look, it's already snowed in behind us. For game purposes, of course. Can't go anywhere, so we gotta go this way. Here we go. We're on the route. It's a it's a fairly short game, especially if you know where to go and what to do. All right, we have a echo here. At this phone booth. Stranded. Damn it, mom! Why do you never pick up? I need you. I'm at a party in the woods, but I'm feeling uncomfortable. I need you to come pick me up. All right, different different stranded. They're named the same, but people and situations change. Right? Is the map? Town is to the east. Yeah. It's telling us where to go. It's telling us one of the cabins is broken. Well, it doesn't work, basically, but yeah. Anything else here? No? All right. E, baš mi je drago, mama. Baš, baš dobra igra. Ako možeš da ispratiš priču, super je. Let's keep going. I'm gonna try to get as many stories as I can without straying too far. So I know some of them where they are. I know this one is somewhere here and there's gonna be a memento too. Sometimes you want to stray off the path to find new stuff. Watch the flashlight. The flashlight will always tell you when there's something. The music is so good. 
Frozen waters. Marble. Yes, there's something there. There it is. It's a wreath that you put on, you know, where, where someone died. He's hairy sexual, an equal, an equal opportunity slut. It's so cold, but I'm happy because I know I will see my brother again soon. Lying down now, cold. A bird just put a leaf on me. Or did I dream it? Love you all. Babes in the wood. Okay, I don't remember this one with the leaf. That's new to me. Delmar, usually it's different. I'm gonna see my brother, yada yada, but nothing about the leaf. I don't think there's anything there. What does the map say? Last time... All right, here we go. We gotta get, I think, to the Orion Lodge. Yeah, there's the trail. So, yeah, okay, we haven't missed anything. Or if we have, it's, you know... It's, it really doesn't matter. It, it's not the kind of game you really want to 100% in one go. There we go. 55537... Five, five, Three four seven four. I haven't been fishing since I was a kid. The operation center is closed right now. Information regarding hunting season dates, zone demarcations, and the purchase of hunting and fishing permits can be found on our website. And then you can listen to this if you want. Out of hours emergency. Call local emergency services. Which is 911, which if you try again. They're not even picking up now. Oh, there we go. And it instantly disconnected. I remember this one, so you can you can check at the look at this. Mm -mm. Moon shining. So that's that's that also changes again how the game will unfold. Yeah. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. Henry's on the lake, live bait. Another map. I see. I see. I didn't understand the word. I'm glad you do, Lyubka. Alright, we're out of one lodge. Keep going. Oh. Alright, there's a memento. Uh, there's a echo nearby. Alright, yeah, I remember this. It's gonna make one of them more sense now. There it is. Oh, jeez. Hello, Wesky. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Welcome in to Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Hey, 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 majko, majko, pred, od, izda duše, uši, oči, sve. Ali ispričat ćemo ti. RE3 Nemesis, so the original, if it has Nemesis in the title, that's the original. Oh my god, how did it go, Wesky? Check out Sexy Wesky. Dear friend of the channel. Let's see what we got. Stranded. So here's what we're gonna find out. The messages don't go in order always. Crazy shit, man. We shouldn't have given the new girl that stuff. She's running around tearing her clothes off. Won't stop crying. Damn. Shut up about who gave it to her, Louis. And then a photo. Naked in the forest. My game's going great. Mercenaries, nice, of course. Still having fun with that? Oh yeah, we can go this way now, right? Last time I didn't go this way. So we can go towards the Orion Lodge or through the pump station. What say you, Lupka? Orion Lodge is this way. Pump station is right behind me. They, it's one of those choose your location. Or we can go through both. But yeah. Let's see what Lupka says. It's 
State Sewer and Water Authority. You can call them, huh? Station. All right, pump station. Here we go. We're going down to pump station. Last time I went through the Orion Lodge, so I think this is pretty cool. But we can go back through the lodge if we really want to. Again, more numbers and notices. You can call this number. 555-7669. Five, 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 seven, six, six, Weather. Yeah. They're going to tell me it's snowing, are they? storm accumulation of 14 to 20 inches is expected by late today we're in it buddy will fall to near 10 degrees above zero this morning resulting in wind chills of near 10 below zero snow and blowing snow along with a cold yeah 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 we're not gonna listen to the weather report but yeah that's what i was talking about any number you see it's you can call it and you'll hear a lot about it or at least something you know how have you been lately Wesky? haven't seen you in a while man Was it here? There should be a something that'll give me another part of that. Yeah, last time we didn't do that because I was basically rushing, but there should be one. Blowing snow. Was it there though? I feel like I missed something. Hold on. There should be a, we'll see. There should be a dist the distortion. You can only see with your phone. Let's see. Let let's look at it another time. I thought it was here, but you know I could be totally wrong. No, you would see it. It would be like, like reality is different in that spot, like what we saw in the playground. You know, for the photo. Yeah, but it's not here. Wait, right, let's go way all the way back, because I sort of remember it being here in the. Maybe later. There's a few sewer uh, bits. No, not here. All right. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, there we go. There it is. There it is. I knew it was somewhere here. There it is. So we didn't get this last time. And it's... We're going to see about the... What was it? The right for the camera? Yeah. So about... I want to be with my brother. We're going to find out why. So those are... Kids' arms holding for the for the grating. Help! It, it's my brother. We're playing in the pump station, but the water's come up, and he's trapped. His hands are cold. His hands under the water. Just very short, but very fucked up messages. So we can, yeah. It shit, yeah. <laughs> it is, it is. There's a lot of situations to to discover, you know, different with different people even. Sometimes with same people, but uh, you know, all depends on how you do the game. We all float down here. <laughs> yeah, you really get fucked up. Fucked in the head. There's the Orion Lodge. We can go back. I think in the Orion Lodge you can see the... The used condom. I think it's in there. And he also comments on that. So yeah, sometimes you can go through both locations. Sometimes not. Sometimes one location will... Is it here? Like there is something. One location will cut itself off. No, no you haven't. I mean, from the original film, if you think... Yeah, if you mean Tim Curry, I know that, but... uh, Oh, a happy version. <laughs> we all float down here. Ta-da! <laughs> Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Where's the Orion Lodge? It's back their way. Huh. The tree. What's it marking? If you come down here, I'll give you your boat back. <laughs> Does he say, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, What is that? Is that a parody? Yeah, there's the lodge.
Wait, am I back at the boathouse? Oh my god, it's so easy to... Yep. I actually came backwards. Parody voiceover, like... Alright, I gotta see that, buddy. I really gotta see that. Send that to me on Discord. Please. Let's get to the next story piece. So yeah, I went that way. But that's where I should have emerged from. So I went backwards. Really. Because the forest is pretty big. Orion Lodge is a must location. That's right. You gotta go through it. Again, the atmosphere is just amazing. There's gonna be a few things here to see, if I remember correctly. There's left and right. He can comment on these as well. Let's look, let's look at the bear. Looks mean. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I really didn't expect this in a Silent Hill game. Why, do you, why don't you want to talk about it? Talk about the used condoms. That's perfectly normal. We all do that. We just go into a cabin and we find a... I guess because I already checked out the bear. But he can say something about it as well. Like, hey, hey. A movable feast. All... All stories end in death. Oh God! Oh God! It may oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Subtle. Is this where I came from? Yep. Never mind. But where's that head? There should be a head. I confused the game. There's another door. Okay, that's what confused me. What about this door? A broken ward. It's a broken flashlight. And they all have inscriptions on them. Safety flashlight. Well, not that, but I mean. <laughs> they usually have something. Yeah, there's one. All right. It's easy to miss them. There's a lot of locations. I'm going, I'm trying to go for everything, so, or as much as I can. Nothing here, just to disgust you. But over here, though, we see there's something, you know, in the other layer of reality. You can see it blinking, so we're going to take a photo, nice and easy, and see what it is. It's a killed deer. Cycle of death. Joel's, Joel Jr.'s first kill. It was a biggie too, 190 pounds, field dressed. Got him in the neck, went down like a dead weight. My son is a man now. I'm a man. <laughs> Where am I now? Alright, okay, yeah, there's two different parts of the lodge. That's why I said Orion Lodge is pretty important. Pretty important. <laughs> you really can't go without it. But okay, where, where do I go now? This way? We're gonna go down the road. Should be another piece of that. Yeah, there it is. So see the, the deer we saw in the photo? No, come back. Come back. Come back. There it is. And we're gonna hear the rest of that story in a moment. Jesus Christ, that always scares me. Mr. Mason. Officer Bennett? How did you get my number? I have your wallet. Where the hell are you? Lost in the woods. You just ran away from a police officer. You abandoned me. What? I'm not under arrest. Why can't I get up and leave? I mean... Mr. Mason, do not go anywhere. I am coming to get you. You hear me? I need to get back to town. 
We got her contact. So we can call her. You can actually call her. I never do because there's no point. But look, it's a deer skull with a story attached to it. Wink, wink. The cry of a deer. Come on, Joel. You think that it was you shot and dying, not the deer? Get your hands out of your pants and be a man. My son, the queer. Shoot the damn thing. Shoot you, queer. Damn. So that's like the first. They don't go in order always, like I said. Sun Hill, Brahms. Not far as the crow flies. We can't go that way because it's snowed in, so we gotta go around. Oh! <laughs> How am I driving? 7243. Cool. Oh. Good driving. Yeah, everything is cold. You have reached how am I driving? If you have witnessed aggressive driving, drunk But you can never talk to a person. It's always like recordings. Of course, unless you call a person. There's blood on the floor over there to the wallet, a little concerning. Are you ready? Look, there's a child shadow over there next to blood. Everything's getting cold. Are you ready for the nightmare? Well, no one's ever ready for the nightmare. There is blood down there. Here we go, Devil's Laughter. My favorite uh, Otherworld track. And the one I said Delmar earlier. It really sounds like they're chanting, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Is it this way? No, wait, follow the lights. There's light, all right. It's a trick they used in Silent Hill 2 in the boat stage and uh, it really fits in this situation. There they are. All right, they're becoming abstract again. I don't know why we got abstract. Probably due to the answers. See, some of them are abstract looking. Some of them look like normal monsters. Wink, wink. Let's keep looking for the light. There it is. No, I left it. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's okay. Oh shit, I forgot which way. Alright, we gotta make a full round through these uh, cabins. That's right, that's right. That's right. And I'm facing north now, so... Shit, 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 quick, quick. No problem, Del Delmar, always. It's, a, it's an amazing story game. One of the best, definitely. No matter how many times I see this story, it always, you know, touches me. And that's not easy to do. To make a game like that, you know, you get numb after a while. But I, probably be a little because things change. It's never the same. It always feels a little personal. Because you, you had a hand in it, you know. You had a hand in building this story. Ah! There's the light. Keep going towards the light. Because there's a, it's easy to make a detour, but you really want to just follow the light if you want to get out of here as fast as possible. So they're behind me. The wine tells you. All right, it's time for a puzzle. So some other world sections. See how it blocked? 
We gotta solve a little puzzle that's got, again, something to do with the past and the people. There's two parents and a kid on the bed. I'm on the phone! Yeah, I'm coming back early. This isn't working out. Mom! Not now, honey. Mommy's on the phone. Put your damn drink down and look after her! Mommy! Oh my god, I know where we're going with this. Shush! Go show daddy. This whole trip was a bad idea. He's no better here. Worse, if anything. I you know where we're going, Delmar? I won! Mom! I won! All right! In a minute. Give me a second, Diane. So yeah, vacation. is. This time it's different. He's. She was talking about him. She was telling his her husband to put the drink down. That's important. What was the what was the noise we heard? We need that to prove it was quack quack Oot. quack squawk. There we go. That's it. It melts, lets you go further, and it gives you more of the story. I know. That's the problem, Diane. Bottles. Okay. Look, was that your glass? What was she doing? Oh my god. Is that blood? There you go, yeah. Alright, we're getting we're going the alcoholic route. I did look at a few drink related things. <laughs> so if you want to correct that, now is the time. Tell me to look at something in the background you see. Not now, of course. I mean when we're out of the nightmare. The fuck is that? A full on airplane? I never noticed that. Jeez. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, keep going that way. All right. Huh, I never noticed the, the airplane there. There they are. They're coming. There are many and they cannot be killed. Left? I think I should go left after this. There we go. All right. Might not, not even need to use the torch. Yeah, I think Moonshine sealed the deal, for real. <laughs> for Neil McBeal, the Na Navy SEAL. And Harry Mason was there, too. They're in front of me, shit. Fuck you, guys. Yeah, they're getting abstract. Get away. Oh, shit, I can go there. Throw that so you can look at the map. I need to turn right. I'm very close. You can see them on the map. They're coming. I think I can't go there. Yeah, I gotta go back in there. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit! <laughs> can I even break through? No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get down. This is very... Oh, wow! Okay, okay. We can... We can pull through. Go, 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 go! No, this is really bad. Come on, come on, climb up, climb up, climb up! Fuck, 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 fuck! And I used that flare and I dropped it. Shit! I thought I was doing something smart! Alright, we're on the right path. Ugh. We're close, I close. I'm, I can almost feel it. Yeah, it's right there. That's okay, you can't really die in this game. It's one of the reasons I think the Silent Hill crowd isn't really happy with it. It's too easy. No, the door is up there. I did the same thing last time. The door is up there. I never see that stair. Here we go. Almost there. Yeah, the f turning the flashlight off helps. There we go. All right. Everything goes back to normal. <laughs> Look, it's sunny. It's daylight. It's beautiful now. The frame rate is just perfect at the moment. It is daylight. We're going towards Bryant Overlook. I like how abruptly the nightmares end. No, wait. Bryant Overlook viewpoint. No. A camera, actually. 
There's a distortion there. Flashlight, maybe? Yeah. It's a crying girl. Take your hands off me. You've had too much to drink. Yeah, I'm drunk on your love. Get up, baby. Get off! No! Alright, yeah, we're definitely going the, the drunk way. Pinned beauty. I guess it's the 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 species of the butterfly. Brian Toverlook on February. Yeah, we're, I'm gonna read this when we do the story playthrough. Not right now. I'm gonna skip. You know what's unnecessary. But there's a whole story about almost any location in the game. We're getting into tourist information booth. Anything here? No. Nope. I like you can speed up, speed these actions up. Welcome to Midwich High School, home of the cuckoos. Cuckoos. Oh my God, is that? I think what? Uh, if that's a that that would be a genius, tongue in cheek reference. If if it's what I think it is, never hit me. What cuckoos might mean? Oh, it's Sybil. Officer. I've been trying to get through to you. You had your phone turned off? No, I just... Uh, I guess the reception was out. Mr. Mason, you okay? Yes, I know where I am. I'm at the high school. Midwich High? In weather like this, the gym is sometimes used as an emergency shelter. I want you to go there. Emergency shelter? Well, maybe Cheryl was taken there. Yes, go to the gym. Wait there for me. I'm going. But if she's not there, I won't wait. I just can't. So we get to the halcyon days. Of get ready for more responses. <laughs> when I was starting out, the popular theory said it was their mom and dad that screwed a person up. But if you really want to screw someone up, I say, send them to high school. The way he squints. I bet you were fairly intense at school. Oh. Probably enjoyed all that learning. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to throw out some words. Not when they fit how you were at school. Shake your head if they don't. This music. Just get the chills. And I jock. imagine a jock. Were you a jock? A jock is. You, you know what a jock is, Luca. Like. Well, it's an American term, isn't it? It's like a sport. No. All right. Terra says no. Next. Slut. Is that a no to the slut or to the jock? Or just no? <laughs> just no. I like how he's just patiently looking at me. Yes! Alright, we're going with the slut. Let's go with the slut. It might change the direction of the game. Drunk. Drunk. <laughs> Were you drunk at high school? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at moonshine equipment while running. No, all right. Ah, virgin. But yeah, it will not balance the outcome. Yeah, <laughs> that's the same thing I thought. Del. What about virgin? What if you say vir slut and virgin? Can you be a slut and virgin? You can, like you can. Yeah, of course you can. Just more like emotional slut or social slut. Yeah, that's common in high schools. When people are young and trying to fit fit in, so yeah. Was was Harry were we a slut? <laughs> this is like the hive mind. Sand Hill <laughs> hive mind. <laughs> was that? Oh, Alright, another another he's he's no. No, okay, he's no. Hmm. Just Bully. no. Bully? Just no, just no to everything, except for the second thing we said. <laughs> so bully, yeah, you know what a bully is, of course. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna predict you're saying no to the bully, and I'm pressing 
I missed all the questions, but I hope you're still being a slut. Uh, what was it? Yeah, they made him a slut and not a virgin. So yeah. Bully? What about bully? I'm gonna say no to bully. And, and slacker. slacker. Ever, anyone, chip in. Don't worry. Never a bully. But what about slacker, Mark? He said that popular theories were in the beginning. If you want to be a... <laughs> if you want... <laughs> well, these are these are important questions. You'll see. Um, he said the popular theory when I started it was like, but that mother and father fucked people up. But if you want to fuck someone up, I say send them to high school. There we go. So never a bully. Hell yeah to slacker. <laughs> okay. Let's take a oh, he's had it. He doesn't like these the responses. I've laid out a blank timetable and some cards with lessons. Bravo, love. Pick out the Blank. lessons to show me your perfect school day. Don't leave any empty. There are only four periods. All right, perfect I school day. A very generous lunch. A very generous lunch. You hear that, Mark? That's our kind of school. So give me the four periods you want in a school day. Well, it's, what kind of school has only four periods? Mine had seven, six to seven a day. But I guess, all right, different education system. Yeah, that's barely... See, Mark also say, what the fuck is four periods? <laughs> Unless it's like half a day. We like we had seven, three, three days a week, seven and two days, six. But I was in a in a tough high school, so yeah. So Mark wants to put religion in there. I know right away. It's his favorite. <laughs> With football, some fighting games, and uh, science, math actually math. <laughs> All right, guys, give me, give me your your subjects. Well, since you were a slut, creative writing, theater, it's going to form the school based on these questions. <laughs> well, it's a casual run. In a story run, we'll, have, we'll be more focused. This, this one's supposed to be fun. So what was next? Uh, science. 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 Oh, good news for anyone who knows who the Spoonie, what the Spoonie experiment is and who Spoonie is. Spoonie's back. I watched his video on Mazes and Monsters last night. Amazing. It's still Spoonie. <laughs> Religion, yeah. Literature? Well, Mark was unsure about literature, so let's say sex ed. <laughs> sex ed or literature? What do you say, Delmar, huh? Lubka wants to make him more normal. There you go. That's why I do want to put it. Let's see. Let's honor the original order. Literature. Done. Nice. If that was all there was to it, it would have been a breeze, wouldn't it? Come on. Let's talk more about the bad stuff that happened at school. All right, we got to get to the gym, which if I remember correctly is, yeah, there it is, Southwest. We got the whole fucking school to go through. So fun fact, in the original Sound Hill 1, Midwich was an elementary school, but in this version, it's a high school. There are small changes like that. Home of the Cuckoos. Cuckoos. Cuckoo's news. End of season charity drive. Oh, yeah. Cuckoos. yeah. So that counts as if you read it. If he reacts to it, he's seen it. I'm a writer. I'm biased. Yeah, he's a writer as well. So, yeah. There you go. Literature. It makes sense because he's a writer. Harry is a writer. Canonically. I love that he o turns the lamp automatically. Flashlight. He turns it on automatically when doing a puzzle. <clears throat> now we do need a flashlight. Close cupboard after use, dead rat and poison. That one's just to make your stomach churning. Literally nothing in there. Alright, we got left. We got only left this time, yeah. It's a switchboard. 
Three six four two one five. Three six four. Number three every time. Three six four two one five. Three six four two one five. No, we don't need that. All right. They just. He's choosing. I hear a whine. Oh yeah, there it is. Dying is no game. Choking game. All students, there is a craze at the moment for young adults who try what is often called the choking game. Don't be stupid. Don't risk your young lives or your health. No parents should have to bury their child. He's telling us where to go. New code. What's the choking game? Oh, you'll find out. It's a little weird. So we can go to Wonderland Kids Restaurant or we can go through the whorehouse. I'm just going to guess Lupka will want to go through the Wonderland. <laughs> Last time we went through the whorehouse. But we'll just dip in there for a piece of story. The Blackout. Yeah, I think that's it. The Blackout game. Yep, I'm pretty sure... We also had it. My mom wanted to twist my head off when she heard what we're doing. Follow the white rabbit. So it's like Alice in Wonderland themed restaurant because Alice in Wonderland was a big... Oh yeah, there's that one we didn't get last time. Was a big influence on the first Silent Hill. Oh, that's just wasted food now. Frigid. Why can't you be relaxed with me like you should? Is it is it your parents' house? You don't want to do it there? Maybe there's there's other places. Why you gotta be so frigid? Mark, now that you've seen the ending that we don't want to spoil for Lupka, you know, yeah, like, this has a whole new meaning now, doesn't it? Yeah, we did. Kids are crazy, man. Kids are crazy. Yeah, it's like, it has such heavier... There's the second part. I can't believe they made that joke in front of Rick. Everyone knows how close he was to his brother. So that's another part of the choking game. My plastic perfect girl. Found in a freezer. In deep freeze. Does she have something to toot on her butt? Yeah, she got teeny. Yeah, it's not it's not uh, pleasant. There are a few variations on the result of the game. Let's see which one we get now. From because uh, there's another message that just cements it. Yeah, this is through the whorehouse. Through the whorehouse. <laughs> Well, it's a brothel, but yeah. What was it? Yeah, there's a memento there, right? I like the freedom the game gives you while roaming through the town. Suffocated forever. And there's... Spider and an ant. Oh no, it's an ant. It's just an ant. In amber. Again, hits hard. A whorehouse. <laughs> Dynamic entry. <laughs> Get ready for this, it's gonna be fucked up. So there it is. I think Mark wasn't here last time during this. It's a crying girl. The story's called Pigtails. Sorry, I hit you. I guess I was just mad at myself. <laughs> you look so much like my daughter. Just put the wig back on and... Let's go upstairs. It gets darker. Wait, wait, wait. It gets darker after this. So fucked up. Where, where is it? Oh, there it is.
I love how the music is different outside and inside. Well, outside it's just mostly um, ambiental sounds. Is this? No, this is the front. So I want to go to the other door. Where is the other? Oh yeah, there it is. Exit. The one labeled exit. I like how like the cold and snow blinds you when you get out. So that's the that's the Alice themed restaurant. Right next to it is the whorehouse. Pakao brotel. You want to know what dad was doing before visiting the whorehouse? Pigtails. You got all your books? Your lunch? Good. How come you changed your hair? The other girls tell you to do your hair like that? I thought you looked great with pigtails. Okay, honey. You have a nice day. Restaurant that is also a restaurant. So before he went to the whorehouse where he slapped a prostitute for looking like his daughter, he took his daughter to school. That's uh, some creepy shit. Because they could... <laughs> uh, a whorehouse that's also a restaurant. A brothel! <laughs> yeah, obviously. I'm the same, man. Like, if I'm talking to you, that's why I always say when we're talking, hold on, I'm writing a message, because I'll just stop start writing what I'm talking about. A brothel. Oh my god, that's like amazing. That's actually a pretty good guy. I just got it. The higher part. Look at that one, Mark. So that's, you were asking about it. He's just hanging there. That's a nice new belt, Todd. Oh, thank you, Mom. You have a nice day at school. Sure, Mom. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Sure, Mom. Whoa. So last time this was different. I, I know this one. I've heard this one many times. But last time we got a different message about the same thing that I've never heard. Heavenly protection. St. Christopher protect us. This is important because it ties into the first three Silent Hill games. Again, this is just more, more mostly like a reference because this game is not connected to any other Silent Hill games. Other but, you know, than by the name. Here we are, we're in the school. There's a kid there, sitting. Nothing to the left. Well, the shadow of the kid. Second part of Frigid. Sorry for doing this like this, but it's for the best. We aren't working as a relationship. Let's stay friends, right? Steve. Steve! So many trophies. Midwich Food for Thought. Yeah, like I said, we'll read all these in the story runs when we go for a certain story. Oh, look at that clipping. Room 4D, what is this? Oh, right, yeah, another side story. The natural world. Why did God create mosquitoes? Mosquitoes are a type of fly whose females suck blood. They are the deadliest spreaders of disease in existence. People ask, why would God create such a creature? The original humans, Adam and Eve, were not vulnerable to malaria and other, or other diseases. Malaria? It was only when they disobeyed God that they lost their strength and became weak. God did not design mosquitoes to harm us, but because of our sins against His will, we suffer in His way. Mosquito bites are a reminder for us all to obey God. It's fucked up. It's another... Th room you don't really have to go for. Well, we're gonna go follow the child. So quiet. Heading towards the courtyard. Biology lab. Eastern. Oh, okay. So we can go through the biology lab. Or. There's the biology lab. Oh. 
This is the drug poster. Misuse and abuse. Cannabis, cocaine, crack. I do love my ABCs. Jeez. Yeah, we're making him druggy with this. So biology lab is here. <laughs> no, no, that one's always there. We didn't put religion in, remember? I was just, I was just teasing. <laughs> You're probably also teasing me. John Windham, school founder. Windham. That's a really windy and tasty name. I think this is the mosquito classroom. Yeah, it is. I'm looking for the gym. It's a lunchbox. Prom. Lovely Caitlin. The last few weeks have been incredible. I'd, it'd be the icing on the cake if you'd accompany me to the prom. Say yes and I'll be on cloud nine. Mike. Is it different kids than last time? <laughs> Mark. Stop that, Mark. <laughs> This is all too silly. We have to interrupt this transmission. It's too silly. Teacher's lounge can't go there. So it's either biology or chemistry. Waitress wanted. Need work. 555-6649. Waitress at. Biology or chemistry? If you're pretty, a people person, and know how to serve drinks, drop by. If you need a place to crash, I have a room upstairs that's yours. Wow, is this Jack from Jack's Bar? From Raccoon City? It's pretty fucked up. Is it the classes we chose? No, it's not. Biology or... Biology or chemistry? I need answer. All right, I'm going chemistry. Nobody said anything. Ah, damn it, Mark. All right, we'll visit biology too. <laughs> Bio, all right, two bios. Let's see if... I think the path has been chosen since I entered, but let's see. The sound will tell me. Biology 2. <laughs> that was dumb. Please, don't tell anyone. You've never heard this here. I love how the snow is... You can feel where the snow is going. It's beautiful. Will it work, though? Nah, it's already chosen chemistry. But I think you can still do the puzzles, right? <laughs> Bio. Birds and the bees. Birds and the bees. That's a penis. Yeah, you can yeah, you can still do the biology creepy thing. A frigid jewel. It's a ring, and inside it it says Ice Gem. So much subtlety. Like on the first run, you have no idea what this is about, but then you play it next time, it's like, whoo! The fuck did just happen? Wait, that one goes forward? What about the other one? But that's the. There she is. That's the chemistry lab. There she is. She went that way. You ready? Uh, chemistry. Oh. All right. So we're building him up as smart now. I don't know if there's a memento or something here. No, that's just biology, I think. Biohazard. Friendship by Catherine Anderson. I have a friend, perfect as can be. She hears my problems and listens to me. She likes me for me, loves me for my faults, says I'll always be, no, always be yourself, promise never to change. Well, that didn't rhyme, Catherine. 
but okay. Him our smart boy. Planetarium or art studio? Is the writer's freedom, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know these puzzles are different. The last time I went to Art Studio, it was really interesting. You'll never be the... I'm never the artsy guy. Oh, well, I guess I'll just pack up my equipment and go. <laughs> so Planetarium, yeah, all right. Planetarium has a in very interesting puzzle. He's a writer, but not an... Not, uh, um, he, me, whatever. Uh, writer, but not an artist. Big Bear. So now, as we move across the sky, we see another familiar face. This will be Ursula Minor, or as we like to call him, Little Bear. <laughs> What's so funny? Ah, well, I suppose I should be glad that someone in this class sees the romance in astronomy. Alright, so they've seen something here. There are these constellations, you can check them out, see what they look like. But we know what the uh, what the little bear looks like. Like that, only smaller. So yeah. If we try to leave. Unlock we lock. Else. Free tour of the galaxy. Please turn on your cell phone for the audio tour. Five 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 two two six four. school presents the origin of life gaze at the stars and listen as we explain how life as we know it came to be the big bang around 20 billion years ago the universe consisted of nothing he's actually going to talk about it hydrogen protons neutrons electrons but yeah we don't need that what we do need is planetarium to work we need to solve this puzzle. Let's first turn it on. We gotta find the little bear. Well, it doesn't look. Aha! Uh -huh. I think that's it, if it's not the big one. No, that's not it. All right. No, the other way. The other way. Okay, just go with it. Is this it? No. It just looks like it until it stretches. Keep going forward. We'll see something. Groovy. Let's, let's check it out. Can't see shit on these stars. There it is. Pull it a little bit more. There it is, yeah. Hey man, did be my little bear call me. 555-2327. Apex. What is that? Doors open. So she's nearby. There's the art studio. We got a message from Dahlia. Like my new look. Uh, we're getting the same Dahlia, but that's okay. That's okay. It's a book trilogy and a film with Kevin Sp It's very familiar. Huh. So we're getting the same Dahlia, but that's perfectly fine. 
Mine switched off. Well, it's not. You just used it. So we need the hint. It's gonna tell us which one. Ten fifty-three. Yeah, Dahlia. But it's the same. Yeah, it's the it's the. She can look much different, radically different. She can be a total prude. But we're getting a cool one because we get kept looking at mm, sexy posters and. Oh, the light is still working. It's beautiful. So 1031 is the password. And we need this. Prom. You'll remember. Oh, it's very sweet this time. In your heart. <laughs> Everyone ready for the last dance? That's beautiful. One of them will have a memento, if I'm not mistaken. There it is. An eternal rose. And it says, yeah, it says so. Eternal love. It says eternal love. Uh, we don't have to open all that. What was the code? 1037, right? No, 1031. All right, we're outside again. Some guy in the school. Welcome back to Midwich. Midwich High School gym Gymnasium. We're there. There's a floating balloon. Prom. Here's to our future. You're never gonna get old. Never gonna be like our parents. Never gonna be apart. It's a very weird concept for a horror game, but it works so well. Well, for some of us it works. Not for everyone, but yeah. Dahlia, you remember Dahlia. You've seen her at the end of the last game. You'll know. She looked the same. She looked punky. Let's see what Michelle looks like now. So Mark, a bit more and we'll get to the part where you walked in last time. She's singing uh, You Were Always On My Mind. Oh, pink dress. Last time, did she have a pink? She was pretty plainly dressed. Alright, we got a different Michelle. She's got an actual prom dress this time. Yeah, he can go now. <laughs> now, Mark, it makes a lot of sense, does it? It's horrifyingly how well thought of the story is. If I interrupted you. Oh, I yeah, she can change a lot. Else in here. I'm looking I think because of looking children. at the posters. I guess you're not here for the reunion. No. Just my luck. All right, I know this, Did Michelle. Anyone else get the message except for me? What a screw up. Yeah, last time she was really plainly dressed. She can have a beautiful red dress as well. That was elegant. Lacking in finesse, but. Ten for effort. Love? Michelle Valdez. Harry Mason. Nice Can I get some uh, water, so please? What Thank you, you love. I'm looking for my daughter. She's missing. I 
Yeah, now if you do this, it actually counts. No, no. Or like, look at the She's ground. Just seven. Nope, it counts. Cheryl. She's looking at her breath. Cheryl Mason? Yeah. There was a Cheryl Mason when I was here. She was above me at school. Like this, like a different girl around her. She's seven. I'll show you. Come look. She actually looks good in pink. There you go. That's an old photo. You say she ran off? No, we were in a car accident. That can't be my daughter. How many Cheryl Masons could there be in a small town like this? She even looks like you. Oh yeah, th that's Dahlia. My we got a punk Dahlia. You don't sound so sure. Come on. The principal's office? Yeah. If we're lucky, the door won't be locked. Bingo. We're breaking into the principal's Yeah, this office. is where Mark walked in, where we're cracking the password. The door was unlocked. And we both feel bad about it. Thank you, love. Sorry, Mrs. Albright. She's still around. I remember her. Thank you. <laughs> she was when I graduated. She was part of the furniture, right? Come Varnish, here. too. Yeah. What do you want? That's the principal's PC with all the school records on it. A gang of kids in my class used to hack it to change their grade. And you? Hey, I didn't need to cheat. They never got caught, but it rattled Principal Fisher. He used to change his passwords every day. I don't think it helped. Are we gonna hack his PC? Yeah. See if you can pull up the records for Cheryl Mason. See if my Cheryl and your Cheryl are the same. And if they're not, we can get out of here? Sure. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just gonna text my boyfriend. He was supposed to meet me here. Let's see if this works. Whoop. Yeah, there you go. Didn't do that earlier for Sexy Wesky. All right, it's time to crack some password. I'm a hacker. Password cracker. Forgotten passwords. I'm clicking. I'm clicking. There you go. Wasted three years in order to major in... Where's his diploma? Geology. Geology, all right? This changes every time, of course. It makes it... It's one of the rare games from that era that actually has a QWERTY keyboard. It's not like Resident Evil ABCD keyboard. Geolo... Lo 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 <laughs> Geology. Geologist. Enter. The greatest baseball team without question. Yeah, it changes as well. That's Michelle. Yeah, that's Michelle. That's how they met. So, the best team. Let's look for his team. This must be plastered somewhere. Married in Hawaii. Oh yeah, the cap. There we go, the baseball cap. Shiners. Like moonshiners? <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, keyboard, you're not consistent. The king of sports, a man's game of school. Oh, yeah, we've had that last time. That's. Racquetball. Racquetball. What's racquetball, though? Racquetball. Is that like badminton? Rack. Rachel ball. <laughs> Racquetball. All right, Sunday 45. We got the new password. It's time. We didn't even have to use the other uh, room where it's uh, about his ex-wife and uh, his birthday and all that. They're always random. There's a lot of clues in it, but it always picks a few random ones. The Shining. It's like squash, but uses a bigger ball, shorter racket. Oh, I've never seen that. I should check it out. It you break it? It just froze on me. Froze on me, get it? Froze. It like ice. <laughs> it is her. We moved? You don't remember because of the accident? 
Seventh Street. It's not a great neighborhood. I know it. Why would we move there? I guess the cop was right. My ID was old. That wasn't my house. What else did I forget? There's a phone number. Why don't you call it? I will. Maybe I will. There's no reception. I'll be outside. Good luck. Yes? Cheryl? No, Dahlia. You want me to find her? Who's calling? It's her father, Harry Mason. Is she okay? Harry? Is she okay? Who the hell do you think you are? Sorry? What's the... Leave me alone! The plot thickens. Because everything's freezing. Alright, this... It's gonna be a theme through the game. Every time he's about to learn a piece of the truth, the whole world freezes and he's in, ni he's in a nightmare. So we need to get right there to the admin building, but it's not gonna be easy. We're gonna have to go through the entire school. So better start. It's gonna be a side quest and everything. And they're in front of me, little bastards. See without the flashlight how fluid it is? It looks like the parking, nice. Metaphor from I can't wake up from a nightmare. Yeah, exactly. It's creepy, isn't it? Right, now I gotta go straight and then right. There's a lot of them around me. Oh shit, 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 shit. Jeez, they're really aggressive this time. Terra was onto something. Oh wow, leave me alone. Shit, this one isn't that hard either. Main entrance, that's what we need. Shit! <laughs> Get off! Alright, it's gonna be good. This is like quote-unquote healing place Duh. like not at the door all right yeah they're, they were getting a little abstract but because we keep changing the answers and everything they're going back and forth they can't decide what they want to be the the abstract ones are the the scariest for me because their faces have holes and they're all wicked All right, new voicemail, gossip. Damn it, the door shut behind you. I guess you're on your own. Show me some balls, okay? They're inside, so just go find them and get photos. Gonna what, my balls? Sleazy bastard, right? I'll try and get the doors open. Get moving. Well, it's different than last time, all right. Then we wait a second. Midwich High School, yeah, that's the main entrance. Are they gonna arrive? Yeah, there we go. There should be three messages in a row. Oh no, not now. Prime paparazzi spots, the courtyard, the parking lot, and the locker rooms. Alright, and it's gonna mark it on the map. After I leave. Oh well. It's gonna put new. There's one, alright. And a and a flare. That's great. So courtyard is gonna be easy. Parking lot, I know where it is, because I came from there. And all that's left after that is... Go faster. You gotta snap photos while running away, which makes it harder. It's all frozen. Let's look at the map before I go. Yeah, there's the parking lot and then right across is gonna be the locker rooms. Right. The, the lockers that I knocked down earlier. They're still knocked down. No, I think... Oh, it's I'm going towards the lockers now. Man. Fuck that. There's one. That's the part. I'm gonna try to save the flare for as long as I can. There's the parking. Wait, they're not coming yet. Because the f without flashlight, 
I swear it's like in the older games, without flashlight, if they're, they find it much harder to track you. Alright, we got another one. Bye! Woo! Alright, towards the locker rooms. Oh shit, there it is! There's the locker rooms. I think. Right? Oh yeah, it is. Put it there. While I take a snap for this photo. Wait, check the map before you go. Yeah, straight, straight in the... Then up. Is it right below me? I'm in the gym, so yeah. Get out of the gym and then turn right. There it is. Alright, alright. We're done with this section as well. That was great. They're all breaking. And we get three messages now for all of them. Who's that in the car with Teach? Dirty. He's old enough to be her father. And there's a blonde girl in a leather jacket with a teacher. Check this out. Naked and wild for the camera. She's taking a shower. What does it look so weird about that? You got to see this. Caught in the act. Look who's getting extra credit. The same teacher, alright? Harry? I was about to head off. I thought I ought to wait a little longer. Thanks. You okay? Any luck with the phone? They didn't make any sense. I need to go there. The Simmons Street address? That's the other side of town. You got a car? I was planning on getting a ride with John. There's my boss's SUV. John! Yeah, I'm looking after it while she's on vacation. It's at the club where I work. Not far from here. I could give you a lift. Uh, that would be great. Lead the way. I should give you my jacket. I'm okay, you keep it. It's cold. You had a car accident. I can't take your coat. Well, if you want it, just ask. <laughs> I'll holler. Uh, I hope Cheryl isn't out in this weather. I'm sure she's waiting for you at home, Harry. I wish I could be so sure. When's the snow supposed to stop? Hmm, if I'd seen the forecast, I wouldn't be here. I'd be watching TV from under my comforter. Mmm, with a big bowl of champarado. <laughs> a plate of churros? You know churros? I make the best you'll ever taste. I'll take your word for it. I love this track. I think it's called Creeping Distress. Or is this one Two Warm Bodies? Something like that. Yeah, go into a dark alley. Yeah, it is. Not far now. The Balkan is the hottest nightclub in town. The Balkan. Never heard of it. Really? It's pretty popular. You work there, right? What do you do? I sing. Sometimes I mix drinks. It's, it's a temporary thing while John and I sort things out. He's staying in Massachusetts. He's a lawyer. We need to decide if I'm going to move out there with him. You want to go to Massachusetts? Yeah. Well, not Massachusetts so much, but I want to be with John. And John? Well, he wants it too. It's, it's just hard. We've, you know, we've been together for five Ham's years, but Street. we never lived together. Now we're out in the world, living our lives. John's a lucky guy. Yeah. He's probably just lousy at showing it. I know lawyers. They're not so touchy-feely. Oh, John's not like that. 
Back in school, he was very passionate. They say absence makes the heart grow fonder. You believe that? Absolutely. The time is beautiful. The it, it's interesting in the original game, the first Silent Hill Balkan was a church, a big story location, where you actually meet Dahlia Gillespie for the first time, who has a different role in that game, right? But it's also fun because the peninsula where my country, among a few others, is located is called the Balkan Peninsula. Can I see some ID? Over 21 zone. Sorry, <laughs> mine was taken by a cop. <laughs> really? How come? I'm not sure she trusts me. Mm -hmm. well, That's what the church was called, and now the nightclub. Sign of trouble. Name a tavern after Balkan, huh? Balkan nightclub. The Balkan. Last time I was in a nightclub was for my... Oh, I need to answer this. The keys are in my room upstairs. Run up and grab them. John, where have you been? All right, I'm just going to say there's going to be a purple and a red door. Which one you want me to go through? Uh-huh. It doesn't really matter, but it matters. Like it'll affect the game, I can tell you that much. Purple, all right? Yeah, of course. We're going to look for the key she said and it matters where we look. There are a few locations we got to look. So, oh, we got a message from Dahlia. Bored. Kisses and hugs, Dahlia. So purple door. As soon as you pick one, the other one's locked. Yeah, the Balkan. All right, these are the locations where we can look for the key. You guys pick in order. Pick three of them. The, the cookie pantry, the curtain, the jewelry box, or the hamper with the dirty undies. So that's what, five? Oh yeah, and there's this one too. The, her purse. So that's five locations. I need three of them. Shoot. So these are the locations. The, the cookie pantry, the curtains, her purse, the, the hamper with dirty clothes, and the jewelry box. It doesn't really matter, but it matters, like I say, so... <laughs> Just whatever you feel, okay? Cookie. Slimos. Stop stealing my cookies. Yeah, she comments on the first one you check. Nobody? Who are you calling? That's a nice cookie. I would eat that. All right. Next. Two more. So remember, I need three locations. There was one, two more. I need two more locations. The jewelry box, the curtain, the purse, or the hamper. Stop stealing my cookies. <laughs> jewelry box, all right? And purse, all right? Jewelry box. Nothing. Oh, better start from bottom. Empty. Well, I'll tell you, the trick is, it's always in the third location, but the game gauges you, checks where you look to build more of itself. So it's going to be in the purse. He's got a, a banana in a purse? Jesus Christ. Female uh, purse stuff and the wallet, which is like normally when you meet someone, you check their wallet. The red door is locked because we picked the purple open. one. Got the keys. I just need to finish my drink. Take a seat. I need something to warm me up in this weather. Things go okay. Yeah, hey, I can John. zoom into them. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna come meet me here once I've dropped you off. This weather, such a pain. Oh, I should have offered you a drink. No, no, it's fine. I'm confused enough as it is. I just want to get going, put today behind me. Hey, everything's fine. 
everything's going to be fine, you know? We're, we'll be there soon, and, and then you can see your wife and daughter. And... Wife? Wife? You're married, aren't you? You're wearing a ring. I am? Well, look at that. Are you okay? It glints. No, I'm a bit lightheaded. Apparently I'm married. Go clear my head. He's doing the James Sunderland. You gotta... But no, that's not how you do it. You don't splash water. You just observe as I cast a spell over my face. That stain looks like the pyramid head. Oh, here we go. We got her. Mark. Mark, here you go. Michelle? Who the hell is Michelle? He's carving her name. He didn't. <laughs> just practicing my signature. We ready to go? All right. So we got the sassy punk Dahlia. Where's Michelle? Funny. Come on, let's get going. I'm going to drive. You, Mr. Harry, are way over the limit. Stop. This is out of control. I came in here with a girl called Michelle. She was going to drive me to Simmons Street. Who are you? Are you on something? I'm Dahlia. Yeah, no tattoo. No, that's different. You are Harry Mason. She did have a tattoo last time. Fun guy to be with. What are you wearing? All right, so before? wait. So there's Stop being a dick and let's get going. There's so many nuances let's here. Simmons Street and see Cheryl. Cheryl? Your daughter? Oh, come on, you're not that wasted. That's why we're in this lousy club to get the SUV. It's such a mind fucking game. To Simmons Street. That's right, but it's just no more craziness. You're freaking me out. It's a Hex and Nordlander. Was it the same SUV? How did this game fit in under 4 gigs? I know, it can fit a lot with compression, but man, it's crazy. Are you the only people on the road? I'm gonna boop her nose. Boop. Boop. One way. Screw that. Let's cut up on Kincaid. Oh, shit. You're very quiet there, Harry. You're not gonna be sick, are you? I think I'm losing my mind. What? How long have you known me? I don't know. A few years? I don't know you. I can't remember you. Since the car crash, nothing is making sense. <sighs> don't do this to me, Harry. Don't start tripping out on me. When you said you crashed your car, you didn't mention this. Damn, are you in pain? No pain. And I can remember most things. Just sometimes. Some details I, I try to focus, but then they slip away. You really don't know who I am. No. Sid and Nancy? Oh, who are Sid and Nancy? My tits? You named them? We're sleeping together? This is a joke, right? A really lame joke. I wish it was. Yeah. Shit, the bridge is up. What can we do? Run up to the control room. Oppenheim and chant. Ha! Oppenheim and chant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no forgetting what you're doing and wandering off. Hey, I got it. I'll be waiting. Jesus. This music. So another element from the original game is the bridge. Was there a memento here? Oh, it's upstairs. Like if you tap the if you tap the button, he climbs faster. I didn't tap it this time. Jefferson Bridge Control Tower. I don't know what to do here. Let's check the maintenance box. In trouble? Call five 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 three four one one. Jimmy Capra. It's Jimmy here. Who's this? Mr. Capra? My name is Harry Mason. I need to lower the bridge. Hey, hey well, wait, will you? You know what time it is? Probably woke my kids. I'm sorry, but this is an emergency. I've been in a car accident. My daughter needs my help. I, I just... Okay, okay. You want to know how?
how to operate the bridge controls. Yes. Okay, all right, uh, Mr. Mason. Listen carefully. You need to stop by pushing. The... Hello. I need to. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't have a <laughs> module. Well, we're fucked. Goodbye, bridge. Ah. Dahlia. He's sleeping up there. Let's get moving. Okay. Jeez, woman, I'm working here. So, uh. Can't be that hard, right? Just press a button and pull a lever and it'll be down. Like, why is there three. <laughs> why is there. <laughs> why is there eight pedals and only four directions? <laughs> what was that? Red versus blue. The caboose trying to drive a tank. You got a voicemail yeah, from Mr. James. Mason, I guess we got cut off and I can't seem to get through on your phone. Listen, to lower the bridge, here's what you do. Uh, first you push the start button. A colored light will come on. If it's blue, move the center lever. Now if it's red, move the left lever. If it's green, don't do anything, just wait. Uh, and if the yellow light comes on, move the right lever. You just gotta keep doing this until the bridge engages. I already forgot. What did he say? Good luck, Mr. Mason. Well, tell me again. Yeah, Mr. Mason. I wasn't paying attention. I, I was thinking about your message. Can't seem to get through on your phone. Listen, to lower the bridge, here's what you do. Uh, first, you push the start button. A colored light will come on. If it's blue, move blue the center, center lever. Now, if it's red, move the left lever. If it's green, don't. Red, blue, yellow. All right, red, blue, yellow. Yeah, that's right. Red. Blue, okay, green, nothing. Blue. And then yellow. Alright, that's it. There you go, the bridge is going down. Slowly but surely it's going down. Thanks, Luca. Boop, boop, boop. Speedy. All right, we're ready. Bridge is ready. Mm -hmm. So you know me. You know my daughter too. Why is this not freaking you out? Me not knowing you. This isn't the first time you've acted weird, Harry. What does that mean? Be straight with me. Stop it. If you know my daughter, I know of her. Let's not go there. So what are you to me? Why do you have to be like this? Just leave things be, Harry. Don't dig. Harry? Dahlia! Very weird looking cutscene, but it, because it's pre-rendered, and heavily compressed, I would say, even for the PS2. Well, you'll see why. Alrighty, Mark, you have a good time, man. Thanks for being here, brother. No, not tomorrow. I'm um, uh, maybe an extremely old morning, but Matt's back, so uh... no, don't go. So we we have a meeting first time in three months and three months, three weeks, and uh, I don't know, hardly, <laughs> yeah, hardly, but uh, if if yes, I'll call you. All right, water's coming in. You gotta get out of here. Doesn't work. The whole thing's falling apart. Hey, can I open this? Nope, nothing there. No Shit. flashlight, too. You dropped it. I lost my flashlight. Shit, gotta do something. I think just more water's coming in. Thank you, Mark. 
Adios. Oh, thank you, buddy. Oh, shit. We hit the bottom. None of the doors work. Oh, yeah, I, I could turn the light on, I think. Right? Where am I now? That's not for the light. All right. All right. There's some light there. Jesus. It's freezing over. Stop Bye. fighting. Stop fighting. Uh, what's the other one? It will be over soon. Gotta get out. Really gotta get out. So cold. It's you were always on my mind. Just left her there. Did she look older now? Oh, we're gonna see, so, yeah. Just a minute. Must be freezing, like deadly oh freezing. Oh God! It's a proper reaction to the situation, really. Nasty, but inevitable. All right, let's take a break here. Just a short break. I'm gonna run a quick bathroom, quick bathroom break for me. I'll be back very soon, guys. Enjoy the music, and we'll continue sh Silent Silent Hill Shadow Memories in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Well, that was a that was a really short break. All right, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Silent Hill Shadow Memories. We're go Everyone is keep going. going. Doesn't that terrify you? Wow. How would you like to die? No, wait. Let me guess. You'd want to die surrounded by family. It's academic, really, as we're only truly conscious of death when it happens to others. Yet to my age, you'll have seen plenty of people die. There, one minute. We're just talking about this the other day. Okay. Well, yesterday, really. Game time. There are seven pictures of people on the table. Your job is to tell me who is dead and who is merely sleeping. Divide them up. Left, dead. Right, sleeping. All right, Lupka. Here we go. I'll order them and you tell me in order who's dead, who's sleeping. One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So they're all dead now, and whoever you think is sleeping, let me know and I'll move them. So for instance, you say number two is sleeping, I move it to the sleeping pile. Well, let's look at each one of them. Dead or sleeping, number one. Dead or sleeping, number two. Just some people. 
<laughs> I like how you ask for everyone. Just some people. You just gotta tell us if they're dead or sleeping. So what do you think? This guy, dead or sleeping? If anybody else has an idea who's dead or sleeping, let us know. Three is sleeping, all right? Number four. <laughs> all right, Delmar. Delmar is just enjoying the show. Number four. And seven is also sleeping, all right? And these are dead. Dead in the bed. Dead in the bed. And five, all right? Five is also sleeping. Look, she looks comfortable. That's it, all right? So four of them are dead. Three are sleeping. Oops. Done? It's just an exercise. Doesn't matter if you were right or wrong. In reality, they were all sleeping. Huh. Okay. Last time he said, in reality, they were all dead. He looks like James now for a second, doesn't he? Like James Sutherland. Sunderland from Silent Hill 2. But, like, this Sybil actually fits the story the best. You know, she's dressed for the occasion, so to say. It's fucking Blizzard, biggest one they've ever seen. She should be dressed like a SWAT. Dahlia. Who's Dahlia? A girl. The car went into the river. She drowned. Another crash? This is a different girl? You must have seen the bridge. We went right off the side. Harry, the bridge has been closed since the storm started. You swam. You could have died of hypothermia. My clothes. You were so. Oh, you got these clothes. I grabbed what I. So his clothes here. will also depend on the way you play the game. We need to talk. Look at that when behind I her. The station, I pulled the file on Harry Mason. So. Ugh. Like not even two minutes. We're back in a nightmare. I'll kill Miller Hospital, the hospital from the first Silent Hill game. Let's see if uh, Lisa f scene is gonna be familiar, Delmar. I like, hey, he looks like Harry from the first game. We're doing the writer Harry. New waypoint added. And I'm already limping. So we got to get to ER. We got to make a full circle now to make, get to ER. So just keep track of where we are. Going south. Oh, they're, they're dead ahead of me. You're a Harry wizard. Just go left, huh? Oh no, there's a flare. I'm going for that flare. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. They're semi-abstract. Think I should go this way now? You think we're gonna get ambulance? Do you know what made it not be the ambulance? They really confused me. There's always an ambulance there. I've never seen anything different. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, why is it so... Terra? <laughs> Terra was onto something. It is much different than last time in terms of like how aggressive they are. Alright, another flare. Before we light it, let's see where we are. Yeah, keep going there. Slightly to the right, but that's it. Oh! Oh, I pressed the wrong button. They can change position in your body. Leave it here. Leave it here. Fuck you guys. Alright, I think I am where I need to be. I think. <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's why aggression, huh? <laughs> They're very loud. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. So I gotta go left from here. Fuck, 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 fuck. Last time it was easier, I swear. So I gotta left from here. Oh, they're dead ahead. So go straight and then left. You played so linear and not looked anything. Maybe that's the reason. Or she's she's just finished work. She's about to play with the nephew. Wow, fuck, I missed that flare now. <laughs> Wish I had a flashlight for this. Shit, I'm going down, am I? Alright, yeah, the fence is good. Man, I wish I had that flare now. You know the flare that I dropped? It would be really handy right about now. Hold on, you... Alright, we're close. I'm pretty sure we're getting close. I'm not funny, I don't... Have her to make me feel funny. <laughs> make me funny. <laughs> No, 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 so close, I can hear them. Where am I? Jesus Christ, how did, how did I turn? Yeah, I'm going down. I turned around completely. I shouldn't be here. I should be on the opposite side of the map. All right. I guess that confused them as well. Oh, no, I'm not getting away from them. I haven't... So it's this way, across the fence. Oh, shit. There it is, this way. Uh, but now it's too late, I think. They're right behind me. Maybe that's it! Maybe that's it! <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's it. That was really epic. Message. From Dahlia. I have the mother of all hangovers. Last night was too much for little old me. What happened with Linda's SUV? Eternal Darkness, yeah. Another... Another blocked door. Dad with his daughter. Hospital visit. Yeah, they say she'll be fine. That was really epic. She's young. It'll heal easy. She's fine. She liked the bear. Alright, we had this one last time. It's hardly spoiling her. And the song. And the song, sweetie. I got the DJ to play her a song on the radio. Yeah, well, I'll be here for another half hour till visiting time is up. All right, so her song. We got to find her song. First, La Camilla Radio, Healing Through Music. Tune in to 101.6 FM. So call the number and Alcamilla Radio. You're listening to Alcamilla Radio. It's kind of quiet tonight. If you want to hear a tune, just call 555-881-881. Okay, and then the final digit is the song. The song we know is Daddy's Girl, which is number 4. So 555-8814. Thanks for calling Alcamilla Radio. Your request has been selected for broadcast. Get well soon.
requested. Here's a popular tune, Daddy's Girl. <laughs> We got another message. And everything's returning to normal. Like nothing ever happened. Apparently she's gonna be okay. Thank God. He's spoiling her rotten, you know. She's gonna get fat, sitting in bed all day eating chocolates. He's trying to make me feel bad. Mixed feelings, huh? That's the, yeah, that's it. That's the main. Was there a memento here? No, never. Oh, there's an ambulance now. All right. Well, I got to find out what happened last time. It was a, just a car. And her, okay? her cry is also a reference to Silent Hill 1. And the blood on her forehead. You're not from the hospital. No. I had an accident. That yours? No. Uh, yes. But the conversation is different. I'm not making any sense, am I? It's okay. Let's get you inside. You need help. I want to go home. I have medicine and gauze there. I'm a nurse. It's a few blocks north. I just need to rest. Well, I'm headed that way. Just fuck walk. the hospital. Leave yeah, the hospital. <laughs> feeling better. I'll go home to cure myself. <sighs> Don't worry. Head wounds always bleed a lot. Lots of blood vessels close to the surface. It's nothing serious. I can clean up back in my place. Lisa. Lisa Garland. I'm Harry. Harry Houdini. <laughs> Sorry. I'm always saying goofy things that come into my head. Her name is a reference to Judy Garland, actress. Well, well known for The Wizard of Oz, playing Dorothy. Ronald Reagan ran the country on five hours of sleep a night. I saw that on TV. Yeah, but he got to sit down a lot. Nurses on her feet all day and night. I don't need a man in my life. I need a really good podiatrist. What is it you do, Harry? Well, I'm not a podiatrist. Figures. I'm a writer. Wow. Judy Garland, yeah. Silent Hill had a famous writer. <laughs> Hardly famous. Have I heard of any of your books? My mom reads a lot. Bet she's read one. Maybe. I wrote a romance series called Longing for the Moon. That was popular with moms. Romance? My agent tells me I have great insight into the female imagination. You could put me in one of your books. Life and death drama in the ER. One girl search for love. The nurse falls for the dashing doctor? There are no dashing doctors. They're all alcoholics and perspire too much. You. I always fall for the guys who look like my dad and then regret it the next day. Cute. If you were a real writer, you'd be taking notes. Don't you all carry notebooks to write everything down? Not me. I've got a photographic memory. It's beautiful. <laughs> you still feeling okay? Yeah. Fine. So tell me about your daughter. Cheryl? She's, uh... She's young, bright, happy. Likes collecting stuff, you know, bits and pieces, bugs. She loves bugs. Bugs? Like dirty, creepy bugs? No, no, butterflies, but pretty bugs. She the has Balkan. a collection. Dead ones? Yeah. Still creepy. Not really. You seem to see the creepy in everything. Is that a nurse thing or just you? Definitely a nurse thing. We have a unique outlook on life. Whatever happened to Bedside Manor? We still got that. For special cases. Are we here? I think we're here. Yeah, we're here. Here we are. My apartment is just around the corner. Used to belong to the super. It's a lot bigger than the others, but I only pay standard rent. The landlord has a thing for nurses. 
grab a seat. I'm just gonna get out of these things. I oughta... Uh-uh, you're not running off yet. Warm up before you head back out there. I haven't thanked you yet. Five minutes, come on, sit. Sit! <laughs> so we can we can be a perv and you know look at her while she's uh, changing her clothes because there's a mirror there but I'm going to listen to her and just you know, last time put the TV on you think there she goes Yeah, pff, amazing. I connect this game really I connected with Fahrenheit. You know Fahrenheit Delmar, I streamed it before. Or if you're in the US, Indigo Prophecy. You know, snow and investigation and all that. You're a nice guy, Harry. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I feel safe around you. Why do you think I did? You okay? Headache. Be a hero. Fetch me some pills from the bathroom. Check the cabinet. Get me some yellow ones. Yellow ones, okay. Sure. <laughs> no, people just chose different things. So he's a mishmash right now. He doesn't have a clear direction. Nice. The mirrors work. That's so weird even nowadays all right we need pills look in the cabinet bottom shelf oh, infinite jest it's a ring skull shaped ring Zirkins or something, or more skulls, and it surely has an inscription that reads Ophelia. Again, Silent Hill One reference, but it's also I forgot what's Ophelia from. That's not Delmar. Do you know? Bottom shelf. She said yellow ones. Let's find yellow pills. I don't know why everything turns backwards to open in this game, but blue. Stop spilling blue pills. There we go, yellow pill. Just leave it like that. You still don't get anything. Good, that's good. That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a dream. Thanks. That's why Alice. Water? Uh -oh. No, fine. Self medication. <laughs> the one true. She likes to talk about depression. herself, as you can see. It's not just coffee that keeps us going twenty four seven. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sleep now. You let yourself out. Yeah, I didn't know he died, Angelo Badalamenti. You feel guilty about everything. All right, Luca, get ready. When we all lived in huts and wore furs, we worried over the simple things. Food, water, whether animals would come and eat us in the night. True. Now we have supermarkets, bottled water, and 38 caliber home security. So what keeps us awake at night? More often than not, guilt. If only I had acted differently. If only I hadn't said that. If only I'd said something. You beat yourself up with your past. Don't blame yourself. Blame the world. Blame God. Blame me. Sorry, I'm looking at your chest, man. I got lost in thought. <laughs> okay, this is my favorite. Let me introduce some friends of mine. Here we go. This, this is, is my King favorite. Harold. Listen. His daughter, the chaste Celestine. A prince called Wilhelm. And a bull. He doesn't have a name. Prince Wilhelm is passionately in love with Celestine, but she does not love him. One day, Wilhelm comes to the king and asks for Celestine's hand in marriage. 
Celestine begs the king not to marry her to Wilhelm, but the king ignores her pleas. Royal protocol means he must say yes to the match. They are married, and Wilhelm takes Celestine back with him to his kingdom. That night, he attempts to consummate the marriage, but the distraught Celestine flees. She runs from the safety of the castle and across a field, ignoring the sign which warns of danger. In that field is a bull who, seeing the girl, charges her. She falls under his hooves and is killed instantly. What I want you to do is line the players up according to how guilty they are of Celestine's death. Whose fault was it? At the left, most culpable. To the right, most innocent. You want to hear that again? All right, Lubka. So who's most guilty for, for Princess's death? Ah, too late. <laughs> so the prince came to marry the princess. She didn't want to marry her, him, but her father ignored her because the royal protocol says she, he must say yes when a prince comes to ask for her hand. So he tries... He takes her back to her castle, the prince, and tries to have sex with her, but she flees, running across the field, ignoring the signs that, uh, that uh, warn of danger, and she runs across the bull, who charges, us, charges at her and kills her. Who do you think, from the most guilty to the least guilty, for her death, of these four? Three people and a bull. <laughs> So father most guilty. Interesting, huh? Then after him. Come on, you drunken father. Uh. No, he's drunk. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Then husband, then bull. Well, yeah, Prince, then Bull, and then her last. You're putting her last, huh? She's the least guilty for her own death, huh? Is that what you're telling us? Just making sure that I heard, that I got that right. So, yeah. All right, interesting. Let's see. Done. Poor Harold. You felt he should have ignored protocol. I find the best cure for guilt. He never tells you what's right. Never get caught in the first place. Let's continue. There's no, as you can see, there's no wrong and right in this game. It's what you think is right, and it'll just follow you up on it, and serve you the consequences. So right, there's Lisa sleeping soundly. We gave her the yellow pill. If we gave her a different colored pill, she would die. Yeah, yeah, for you the player and you the character, that's right. Can we go back? I don't think we can, but... Nah. That's right, Harry. You're a Harry wizard. The elevator doesn't work. Out of order. Please use stairs. All right, there are again two routes we can take, but we'll we'll see both of them actually. Yeah, there's two gates. That's right. We're over half of the game. We're actually pretty close to the end. The two can will be important later. Golden Leaf Warehouse. Where do I? Where do I get into this fine establishment? There we go. To the door over there. Car park entrance, alright? That should take me somewhere. The mall is. So Lyubka doesn't know, but she'll see all the Silent Hill games. The mall is intentionally made to look like the mall from Silent Hill 3. Cool, damn, I forgot what it was called. Michelle, new message. Hey Harry, Michelle here. Hope you made it home okay. I'm still waiting for John. What a weekend. Um, why is she still waiting for him? Payphone. 
Disconnect. Mall entrance. That's where we want to go. Nothing else here. So I got out of here. There's the mall. Lisa? Harry. Oh, Harry. What's wrong? I don't feel well. I woke up. I had such a terrible dream. Blood everywhere. Try to stay calm, Lisa. I'm oh, coming. Oh, God, Harry. Again, big reference to Sound Hill 1. Let's go help her. Did we give her the wrong pill? What do you think? VCRs or something like that. Yeah, yellow. I did br bring her yellow. I think she said yellow. Synthetic femur. It's a dog toy. Oh yeah, at any moment, you can press the start button and check the mementos you have so far. And check any of them. So we're collecting them all in a box. It's gonna make sense later again. <laughs> She's black-pilled from life for good. <laughs> There's her apartment. Nightingale Apartments. Harry. Oh, last time she was just dead, wasn't she, Delmar? I think. You just find her dead. I'm not sure, Lisa? actually. No. Don't move. No. This isn't what... I said don't move. Stand up and step away from the girl. This isn't what it looks like. Stop talking. What have you done? She was in an accident. I didn't do this. Accident? Shut the hell up. You've been feeding me bullshit all night. You bastard. I didn't... Shut up! I know you're not Harry Mason. Damn, it's like chilling. She's dead. Doesn't matter what happened. She died. Now, good thing we froze, because she says we're not Harry Mason. Better get the fuck out of here. Another nightmare. So now we gotta add. We gotta get to Tall Kamol entrance, which it seems so. Seems so close, but it's not. We don't know. We don't know how she died. She just did. She was there and then she wasn't. Almost like what the red, orange, yellow, green. Almost like what the what the doctor said there. There one minute and then gone. Red, yellow, orange, green. I think. Fuck the flashlight. Just slowing me down. Shit, shit, shit. Where do I want to go now? Left. I want to go left if possible. I see three doors. Alright, the doors will tell me. Door there, then the other door, and I should be going there. Get out. Oh my god, they're all cut into pieces. That means they're going towards uh, continuity. 
so to say. Gotta go through door, no time to dick around with them. Why is it so hard? Jeez, why are they so pushy? At least you can knock him down with the with the door. Can I get a can I get a Yeah, that's what I want, a flare. Bastards. I didn't see the toucan, but fuck it. There's a the toucan. Purple, pink, red, yellow. Purple, pink, red, yellow. Purple, pink. Oh, it's behind me. This way. Purple, pink, red, yellow. Thank you. Luke. We're gonna need that in a moment. Otherwise, we'd have to go back. You'll see. Alright, I think I'm where I need to be. Yeah, there's the antenna. There's two doors. That's what I need. Yeah. Need one of the two doors. That's it. I like how your route is left on the on the map. We got a message. You uh, gonna be home when we get back? Sure. Sure. No, she's fine. Can I have some bubble gum? Oh, uh, sure. Here. She wanted some gum. It's hardly spoiling her. Wait. No, I don't want those colors. I want my favorite colors. What are your favorite colors? Mom knows. I'm sure she does. You hear that? Yeah, well, she won't tell me. The mascot? The cartoon bird? Okay. Like this, sweetie? Yes. So if we didn't memorize that, we'd have to go back out there while being chased. We're not going to do that. So we need... Purple, pink, red, yellow. Red, come on, give me a red. Just died in DVD because I missed the button to escape through the hatch. Oh, that's really sad. But you couldn't. Oh, but well, you couldn't go through it while crawling. Oh, there, there was a yellow. Damn it! I should have just gone. Sorry to hear that, love. How about nephew? Nephew Nefyovsky. How's he doing? There we go. We did it. Come on, save some for later. I'll keep this one for mom. That's. Great idea. Come on, last one of the escalators is it. All right, it's back to normal. Whatever normal meant in Sand Hill. Oh, oh, this is this different. Wait, the message. The experience. Hey, girls, welcome back to Tolka Mall, home of the experience. Whatever you're looking for, we have it here. The latest fashions, the greatest salons, top eats, and the latest movies. Feel like a princess for a day, every day, here at Tolka Mall. Well, we got a different one last time. Girls love shaping, shopping. Girls love shopping, come inside, we work you good. It's like two demons. Well, that's a new one. I'm pretty sure I've never seen this before. Thank you. 
Let's see. Win a car. For a car, sure. What did it say? Arcadia Autos of Silent Hill. Jobs in your area. 555-7872. You're through to Toluca Mall Enterprises HR department. Susan Spencer is no longer employed by this company. For all HR inquiries, please contact us by mail. So we can go to the family pet. I think, is there another one? Is it knocked over? Rubbish bin. There's a car. Alright, so that's the only one we can go, huh? Oh, wait, there's something there. Problem child. Yeah, we missed this one last time, I think. Because it ties into the next one that'll be. So we gotta go through the family pet, I think. There's no other. No other one is open. Cafe Noir. Oh my god, it's it's another reference to Silent Hill 3, I think, because of Douglas Cartland and where, where Heather was at the start. The family pet. reacting to the dog cage and a, and a feeding bowl jumped family pet I'm looking for a dog here oh you, you're looking for that dog no no or, uh, not this dog one that looks the same exactly the same right you're in luck oh that's that again that was different last time so there are there's nuance every cute fish Every time, you know, it shuffles a little. It's a dead hamster. Next to it is a film roll. Memories undeveloped. It's an undeveloped film. Emperor pet food. No, yeah, we got a memento just now. So I'll kick the can. There she is. Got another message. She went through the shutter. The experience, store managers and retail staff. It's been another great month at Tolka Mall, but we're not stopping yet. The job of providing the perfect shopping experience is never done. This month, we are focusing on customer emotions. Random mystery shoppers will be deployed to ensure that each store in the mall is focusing on lifting the mood of their customers. Always remember, you're not here to sell, you're here to make people happy. The happier they are, the more money they will spend. Stores who fail to satisfy our mystery shoppers will be contacted by the brand manager. Keep putting smiles on those faces. Oh my. Somewhere here. Is it here or is it later? Let me look around. Oh, it's here actually. Keep Tolka safe. Call Tolka Security, 555-0207. This is an interesting one. Bedrock Security. Uh, how, how'd you get this number? Uh, 
I'm in the Toluca Mall. The dead place is closed down. It's empty. You can't be there. I am. I want to get out. We stopped doing security there a while ago. Is this a prank call? I need to get to Simmons Street. I need to get out. This is one of the guys on the other shift. You think I'm stupid? Huh. Okay. If you're in the mall, how come I can't see you on the monitors, huh? How come you didn't trip any alarms, see? Not so stupid. It's not a joke. You guys. Then just ignore him. See, that's what I mean. No matter how much you try to reach out to people, something always happens. You don't get any help. And that makes it even more like a nightmare. Let's crack a safe. There we go. My flying lizard. It's like a pterodactyl. Pterodactyl-like creature. And it says on it, if I can turn it right. Oh. Lost, lost what? God damn, why is it so hard to spin? If they use two sticks for spinning, it would be much easier. I can't tell what it says. Lost something. But it's a reference to the first Silent Hill, the very first enemy you fight. You can actually fight. And there's a reason why they're there, like all Silent Hill mo monsters. All the monsters mean something. It's a toy store. Let's play with the train. Set it to go and switch the track so it'll... It'll go this way. Whoa! There's the key. More escalators. I'm gonna look at the doll. There's a purse though. Because he's gonna comment on it and go the sex route. The perv route. Chica Bella. There's Tuki. So we were here in the nightmare just before Lyubka. Look how pretty it can be when it's not horror. Well, Tuki always looks creepy. Look at his eyes. <laughs> looks like it's on. Our old friend Tuki. Like he's on drugs. Where is it? Chica Bella. Michelle. Harry? Yeah. Just wanted to let you know I'm okay. John's here, finally. We're gonna see if we can find a bite to eat. I'm glad. How are you doing? I'm... I'm okay. On my way to Simmons Street. Michelle, what happened at the club? What... Sorry, Harry, you're breaking up. What was that? Michelle? Trippy hippie. So we lost Michelle again. Mall of history. Alright, two locations now, Lyubka. Bef before, I'm gonna let you choose while uh, I pick one. So New Looks, which is a hair salon. Or Celebration Time, which is like a postcard, photographic. Yeah, it's a postcard, gift shop. That's right. So while you choose, I'm gonna listen to the next echo. family pet look what I just got she's so cute she loves me so much and keeps trying to lick my face I call her Holly all right interesting last time last time the dog was a male and she had a totally different explanation of him so through the hair salon all right Uh, 
Anything else here? I've been here only a few times. I usually go through the gift shop. But I know there's a puzzle here. Because you can't leave right away. Wait, what does it say? Bedrock security, yeah. <laughs> Gotta go hot. Change to hot. We need the steam. Steam out a little. Oh, there's one. Seventeen eighty nine. All right. That one has a heart. The one has, I hate my face. Wow. Eighteen seventy-nine. Is that what I said? Nope. What the? Seventeen eighty-nine. That's right. Seventeen eighty-nine. Unlock somewhere no. else. No. One seven eight nine. Recycling. Mm. Comprehensive. There's a bloody knife. Important. Can we go back to the other one? Oh wait, there's something here. It's a catalog. New the experience. Yeah, I got the afternoon off. Those uh, those mall marketer goons were all over the store taking photos. They had, they had a bunch of stupid models pretending to be customers. <laughs> Happy families. These uh, smiley, smiley moms, dads, and kids. Different. And you know the customers we get in are not that good looking. Nah. Okay, so it's cut off. Wasn't there something in the post? Yeah, there was more story in the in the other one. We don't get that here. Interesting. So there's a whole... I think... No, I'm curious. Huh. Never mind. So we can't go there now. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's that's what I meant. Never mind. Problem child. Another profitable day at the mall. Today I bagged myself. Nice top, memory cards, Two CDs, cheap necklace, pair of jeans, and a pretty ring. That dopey guard spotted me again. Didn't say a word. I hope he's not planning to make a career out of this. So yeah, that's the guard that was talking about letting a girl go. It's connected to death. But there's more. Cause it's gotta get it's gotta get it's gotta get pretty dark. Get ready. I think it was here, yeah. See the cones? There's someone crying there. And we got a voicemail. It's the same story, problem child. 911? Oh god, I think he's dead. Sir, can you describe the emergency? Who is dead? Malcolm, he's a security guard here. Oh my god. He didn't even see it coming. She, she, she had a knife and she just pulled it out and cut him. Oh god, it must have been an artery or something. Is Malcolm breathing? Can you find a pulse? They tried to help her. Even afterwards, he, he, he said to me, it, it's not her fault. Oh, God, that was the last thing he said. God, it's awful. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. All right, the only place that's left is Cinereal. Just interestingly, he said he's got photographic memory, and that's with the name of the store. Hot Sounds. There's nothing else here, I think. Join two key. Right. 
Together Forever. That's the name of the film. Casting call wanted actors to play parts in local movie. <laughs> These are gonna be Konami arcade machines, yeah, Stardust and Contra, that's a nice touch. Russian attack. Let's get a toy. Modern Prometheus. Oh, spin. Anything written? Nothing I can see. Cinephone call 555 3663 for latest movie news and bookings. We don't need that. I'm looking for my daughter, crying out loud. Hey, <laughs> imagine with one toy you'd get it in the first try, huh? <laughs> Together forever. Is the movie different than last time? Yeah, it is different than last time. It wasn't together forever. Check this out. So fucked up, huh? Was there a memento here in the in the theater? Yeah. Muy creepy. Muy cre was there a memento? I don't know. Let's just keep going. It's already nine forty. Jeez. So about three and a half hours now. All right, we're close to the end anyway. From Dahlia. Miss you, Harry. It's boring without you. Hugs and kisses, Dahlia. Well, we're finally outside again, all right? I'm glad it is. A, it's one of the games with the most uh, replay value, in my opinion. And definitely in, in the Silent Hill series, I'm gonna say this one has the most replay value. Four endings, five with the UFO ending, but uh, many, many variations on the story and the endings. Even four endings have like 20 different variations each. There's something behind that car. It's an animal that's been hit. A dead dog. So interestingly, you can't see these things. See the dead dog from the picture? Remember the picture? You can save him if you want. And we get another part of the... Yeah, I will finish it very soon. It's very near the end. It's not a long game. The final part of the family pet story. We hit something. Yeah. What do I tell her? What do I tell her? So that's why that's why the dad was there for a dog. That's that's the dog from the photo, see? What's too bad? That it's short. Yeah, but it's replayable. Did you hear me? It's so replayable. It could have been like 10 times longer. Can you get it? It shouldn't be able no. Yeah, that's right. It's it's very replayable. Many Silent Hills have, well, most of them have a joke ending, UFO ending with aliens. But when we do the alien run, alien series, we'll know. Uh, recognize this, Delmar? Another Silent Hill 1 reference with a TV in the window. Is the window purple because we chose the purple door? And a gas mask. The, like So many references to games and movies. It's crazy. It's the best kind of short, Lupka. 
You'll see why it's good to replay often. That's like very bad security. Horrible security. Peacock. Oh, I'll play it again. Not tomorrow, though, but I will. I will. Very soon again. Can you go out there? Yeah, last time I missed the memento here. Which is here. Another ring. We Ouroboros. And it's an Ouroboros. Snake eating its own tail. And it says, engraved, Love is a hungry drug. Jumbie would freak, yeah. No. no, he loves this game. I think he loves this game. Mason, it's my door. Are you ready, Lupka? I think this is my favorite section of the game. The ho the house. There's two key. Because it contains nowhere. <laughs> Remember the swing from the start with a shadow of a girl on it? Cheryl? Sweetie, is that you? You've been gone for so long, I started to worry. Sweetie, oh my gosh, she, looked, she sounds awful. Who the hell are you? How do you know me? Where's Cheryl? Still at the lighthouse, maybe. Lighthouse? What are you doing here, Harry? Looking for Cheryl. Isn't this my house? Who are you? You look really good. Who are you? We're soulmates, you and I. For richer, for poorer. She's so old. In sickness and in health. You're my wife? Fucked up. I love this section. Nowhere. Nowhere is... Is a section that appeared first in Silent Hill 1. It was amazing. It's... Uh, Silent Hill 1, it's a mishmash of different locations from the game. Like, you go through a door from a... I don't know, from hospital, you end up in a school and stuff like that. It's really creepy. And I love how they did it in this game. How they made nowhere real cool. Look, everything's frozen and falling apart. There, there's the photo. That's that's the daughter I'm looking for this whole time. The other photos you can't even see. All right, get ready for a trip. Why I like no nowhere in this game so much. Toot 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 toot. It's starting. There are buildings on the side as well. I love this track. Well, I love all the tracks from the soundtrack, but I signify those who left a big impression on me. building Shit. well what, what you gonna do when you see a when you see a, a ravine or something in Sand Hill you jump it's so fast but yeah it's supposed to be you, you catch it on multiple playthroughs there's Cheryl in the swing there was Harry as well there she is sweetie no, I'm falling faster than she. Cheryl!
minor inconvenience. So I should be looking for a light, was it? Or... No. Hone in on the wine. Yeah. You'll see why it's a VHS. Everything has a reason. Alright, we're back in the house. The living room with the ghastly static TV. Ever downward. Mirror. Can't look at yourself in the mirror. Fuck, just go anywhere. Oh my god, I would insta jump. Alright. I like how the door is slowly creeping up. How far it is. Now we're in the bedroom. The frozen bedroom, but that that always bug me. The the, the rose on the wall. <laughs> now we're on the side of the bedroom. There's the bed and the door we just entered, and there's the wall with the rose. Oh yeah, there is. There is multiple right ways usually. Now we're at the ceiling of the bedroom. Now we're in the living room again, but two doors are missing. And there's no static on the TV. Now we're in the living room, living room again. This time with the static. And it seems bigger. It's definitely bigger now. So creepy. That's from the main menu when we started the game. There was a VHS playing with him and Cheryl in the park. Now we're upside down again. Shit. They're getting on, they're getting into the car, and then the car has crashed. And then she keeps showing the crashed car. Imagine making a walkthrough, you get through the only frozen door in the room to run to the only other frozen door in the room. Shake off a creepy stalker monster, then take the only frozen door in the... No, <laughs> it would be so easy if it were the only frozen door in the room. We gotta get to that bed over there. But we gotta avoid the shadows, just walk on the light. Because the shadows will just block us. This way, yeah, this way. Now we follow the ice. Uh, we look for the most frozen door where there's more the most ice and just go there. And you'll be out of here in no time. Every other way will just loop you. We got the flare, nice. It's frozen. Looks pretty frozen to me. No. Fuck you, buddy. Uh, that, must have, that must have been quite painful for it. Frozen, alright. Again, the door is far away.
What a nightmare. Harry and Cheryl. She's Cheryl. big. This is your room. But you're not in it. Man, that always makes me sad. This is your room, but you're not in it. But he says it in such a heartbreaking way. Five minutes to IP switch, folks. The stream will interrupt for a short duration, about 10 to 30 seconds. When it happens, don't don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We're almost done with this. This playthrough. Yeah, I will, I will, when it happens. You can pause anywhere. No, don't go. You know, I think we're getting somewhere. We're all tied up in this marriage thing. Marriage worked a lot better when we didn't live so long. We have phrases like the honeymoon is over to remind us how quickly marriage is sour. You think I'm being cynical? Divorce does that to you. Come on. You think marriage can really last? Yeah. Most depressing Silent Hill actually with second game. But it doesn't like it. What did he ask, guys? You think mar marriage can last? What do you think, Lyubka? It is a very depressing game. Looks like it. Last, okay? Yes. Should a couple stay together for the kids? How awkward for him just staring, waiting for an answer. Should the cup should a couple stay together for the kids? So should they didn't should they stay married for the kids even though they don't love each other? Basically, yeah. All right. Do you think it's a bad idea to marry young? Ah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Is it a bad idea to marry young? That's okay. No worries. Yeah. It it's a bad idea to marry young, okay? You think sex becomes stale after marriage? So does sex become stale? Yeah, that was that was a fast one. <laughs> you know what? You being such an expert on marriage, you're going to ace my matchmaker <clears throat> test. On the table are six pictures. All you have to do is sort them into three married couples. All right, so there are six people, and we're making couples from them. Left are men, right are women. Who would you put together, Lyubka? So you can tell me, man one, woman two, or whatever. I'll zoom them in one by one while waiting for your reply. So it's a casually dressed man with uh, in a living room also I guess casually dressed man with man one woman three all right all right interesting match okay couple two man two woman one all right And then finally, man three, woman two, yep. All finished. Okay, now tell me which of those couples are still together. <laughs> I'm joking. You know I'm just trying to provoke you, right? Oh, let's keep going. We're really making progress here. Harry? <clears throat> Harry? Harry? Were you dreaming? Shit. I forgot, man. I got into the game, so. <laughs> Reconnecting. <clears throat> A 
Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Reconnect, come on. Come on. All right, we, we're in. Oh, right. So saying funny shit actually makes it work. Nice, good to know, good to know. All right. So he's waking up and Michelle's there next to him going, Harry. <laughs> are you okay? What are you doing here? This place is... Your home, right? I saw the photos of you in the corridor, you and your family. Cheryl isn't here. You just got in, huh? I'm sorry. The woman said Cheryl was at the lighthouse. The lighthouse closed down years ago. Now I need to go there. John and I can drive you there. We'll take the lake road. Thank you. So you're Harry. John. Oh, look. Well, John looks different. Me. I'm sure you two have lots of catching up to do. John, don't be silly. Oh my god, he's really a dick right right off the bat this time. Is he drunk? Holy shit, is he drunk? Nice car you got, John. I always wanted one of these. But when Cheryl was born, we graduated to the family car club. Trunk space wins out over engine size. I'd swap the car for a family any day. Though I'm happy enough with just John for now. Cut it out, Michelle. It's embarrassing. Uh, I'm not embarrassed. Don't mind me. This isn't how I wanted things to go. It's not Harry's fault. I Nothing mean... Nothing to do with Harry. I mean this. Us. I wanted to make things clear. I Just pissed off. Right. What are you saying? I mean, John. This reunion, this weekend. I wanted to come see you to talk things through. Talk? About our relationship? Michelle, there is no relationship. Please, don't do this. Not now, John. If not now, when? Where? Christ, Michelle, I've been trying to do this for months, but you don't want to hear it. Now we have a witness, maybe you'll listen. You're just tired. Are you not thinking right? It's been too long since we've been together. No, no, Michelle. I was hoping to do this right, but I need to do it. We've been running on empty for a long time. I'm just gonna play Living dumb. Fumes. It isn't a relationship, it's a courtesy. I still love you. It can't be over. It is. You don't love me. You love the John in your head. Please. I can't listen to this. I can't do this anymore. You're just gonna leave your own car. Very responsible. Poor Michelle. John! Just leave a stranger in your car. In the middle of a road. In the middle of a blizzard. Very responsible. I'm gonna look through your car if you're gonna be like that. Oh look, you got a thing there. Po poetry is precise as geometry. Does it have a graving? Oh, it does have something on it. You just gotta make sure, yeah, like that, and then. But not like that. But no, not like that. Yeah, there you go. Just spin for fucking. I can't read that. Engraving one. Oh, fuck it. Something one at a time. Yep. Don't jump out. Just get out of the car, man. Should be unlocked. Yeah, she unlocked. Lighthouse Cove is the next destination. Which, look where we ended up after all of that. We started the game in the northwest over there. We've been through most of the town by now. So we got to go back to the west side of the town. And we're on the east side. So let's get going. State water sewer. To go. Sewer authority. Because they're gone. You can't find them anywhere. What Adik was. <laughs> The wind is freezing. I can hear it. I can feel it. Really, some scenes really look like they're straight out of Silent Hill 3 or 1. Message. From Dahlia. Sorry about last night. I was upset. 
you're upset, I get it. fish Blech. it puked a ring out a happy bond nothing engraved oh it is something is engraved it says sweetie you know what a dick is <laughs> Cheryl Cheryl And the music starts right away. She doesn't want me to get there. Looks like a kid drew it. And we're at the King's Beer. Not the King's Beer. I think there's something. Yeah, there's one here. There's a lot of Silent Hill 1 and uh, Twin Peaks references. Memories untaken. So, uh, disposable camera. Schooner Miranda. Sail from the shore. Capsized. So, a ship that sunk. Again, reference to Silent Hill 2, I think? Historical lakeside. All right, we gotta find where that echo is coming from. Lakeside Amusement Park, featured in Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3. There's a map, it just flew away. Day trippers. Oh, it's very nice. Different than last time. Right, we're going into... Is it Annie's Bar? Lakefront Souvenirs. No, that's not it. Yeah. A lighthouse. A beacon. A key. Oh, I see why that's happening, because I'm pulling it, not, not, uh, straight right, but a little to the, do to down, a little down, and, uh, that confuses it. There's the lighthouse. Is that the lighthouse? Did I ever see that? Boats. That's Annie's bar. Yeah, that's also from Silent Hill 1. Anything else here on the road? Can't remember. It's a location from the first game, and the one this is reimagining off. Yeah, I can't get there. Yeah, this. Yeah, that's right. There you go, you gotta point it towards the lighthouse. Your diamond heart ring, and it says, Journey's end in love's meeting.
No fishing allowed. Toluca water tours. We're not gonna call that. We wanna find Cheryl. We're so close. Let's go to Annie's bar. She's eating a cake. But who served it to her? <clears throat> hey. It's over, John and me. I don't think he's loved me for a long time. I was in love with an idea of this person. But that wasn't John. Yeah, what a waste. You know, I should have realized when he said he wanted to be a lawyer. You're still headed for the lighthouse? Yeah. You'll need a boat to cross the lake. They often moor at the jetty behind the amusement park. Head through the alley out back, you'll see it. I used to go there with John. I doubt it's as exciting as I remember it. Are you sure you want to go, Harry? It's all I got. Something feels wrong. She's there. Very close. I know it this time. I'll get my answers. Oh, you will, buddy. You might not like them. You might not like them. We're getting deep in it now. I can almost taste it. All this talking, and we still haven't touched on the sex thing. That's what you're thinking. Aren't all psychiatrists supposed to be obsessed with sex? It's not us. It's you. You're obsessed with sex. Even when we're not talking about it, you're thinking about it. Come on, let's have some fun. See the pictures on the table. I want you to divide them up. The ones you think are a sexual symbol go on the left. The ones that aren't, the right. All right, Lubka. Which of these are a sexual symbol? I'll keep putting them one by one on this side, non-sexual, and then you choose which are sexual. Like last time, one, two, three, four. Come on, grab it. None of them, huh? All right. Where was it when, when some joke when they show a Rorschach test to someone like this, like a few of them, and he looks and then says, "Why does why 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 do you have so many pictures of my mother?" <laughs> All right, so they're all non-sexual. A practical woman, yeah. Done. None of them. Now you're screwing with me. You're in denial about sex. Sex and death. Sex is death. It's a leap into the void. The great loss of self. The tiger in space. A plea for annihilation. To deny sex is to deny death itself. Tiger in no. space. People who are getting enough don't need analysis. You clearly are not getting enough. Let's see this through to the end. Oh, wow. So it's totally different. Normally, so last time he did show, because we answered differently, he showed uh, one of the pictures and said, death. Check bastard talking about, talking to me about sex. We don't talk about sex around these parts. Nobody has sex. We just, we just get born we just like pop a baby just sneeze and pop it's out <laughs> there's the amusement park The dragon. 
Looks a little silly. Myths and legends at Lakeside. Lakeside Amusement Park. Kids love the magic show. Tickets. Let's just jump through. It's perfectly legal, I'm sure. Steal a key. Why did they leave the, the door open? The window, it's their fault. Emergency. Oh, they got it covered. Here we go. So remember the, the opening, the intro. The press start menu, you'll recognize it. Just to get back lakeside. Intimate and romantic ride. Remember this from the start? Best streamer in Twitch. Thank you, thank you, Delmar. That's that thank you. That means a lot. I'm glad you like this and you like the way I do this. Really appreciate it. I'm glad I did this again. I really wanted to do it for you. Remember this from the start, Lupka? Maybe not, but you'll remember. It's got, I'll help you, it's got Harry and Cheryl in it, but, wait, we need the camera, but if you look from this side, you can actually see them. That's him in a Hawaiian shirt from the intro, and that's her, she's a kid. Gamble. But <laughs> that's the first time it doesn't want to go the third time. Yeah, it should go three times. There we go. That was a glitch. Eve. We got a photo of Eve. And look, it looks suspiciously like Dahlia. The woman we were in the car that crashed from the bridge while she was young. We first kissed in the tunnel of love. Alright, very close to the end, Lubka. You're gonna love it. It's like a movie, that's why I said. I think mom would love it as well if she could follow. You know, at her age, at 73, I don't think I, I could follow a fucking beam of light. But yeah, I'm sorry, 23, 23. So like my mom always says, <laughs> she's like, I'm, I don't, I'm not 73. Like, 50 years is half a century, right? And half is nothing, so I only have 23 years by that logic. You know, perfect logic, mom. Got a message. I remember that first date so clearly. It was fun. We were a good date. It was easy to be happy back then. How about a kiss for old time's sake? Oh, it's Tomorrow. much better this time. Please All right, I think we fixed their relationship. Nope, fucked it up. Oh wait, there's more? Hold on. There's one I didn't read? The lady. I hope you are unharmed from your That's from the photo there. Rush with death. Oh, that ferocious dragon. That's definitely Harry. Embarrassing your daughter again. 
Yeah, three. Yeah, the zombie's younger than me. Let's follow her. She went the. She went that way. Man, she's so trippy. All right, we gotta find her. I think one more time. She's gonna be here now. I'm sorry. I ruined your ride. I'm sorry if I ruined everything. It's not ruined. We're just glad you're safe. Those swans pack a mean peck. They do? Yeah. Like this. <laughs> That's adorable. Alright, we're at the boathouse. Where Michelle said. There's the boat. So we're we're at the dock right now where the amusement park is. We gotta get to the lighthouse on the other side. So we're gonna take this boat. Final moments, Lupka. I would highly advise advise uh, get some get some tissues or something. I know I will. Well, well I got him ready for this stream. <laughs> you never know. Gets really Emotional. Harry Mason, you're late. For what? Your party. I started without you, so you're playing catch up. Remember, she looks place? what we make her look. It's and she acts what we make her act. On water. We float this baby out into the middle of the lake and we can do whatever we like. No one to tell us what to do. I need to get to the lighthouse. Well, it can do that too. For a price. My daughter is there. I need to be there. Harry, Harry. Always with the weight of the world on his shoulders. I remember when you were a fun-loving guy. We're talking about my daughter, damn it! Okay, okay. A little to the left. And that's it. the lighthouse in about 20 minutes yeah that's also that's also playthrough you know what's happening to me focusing only on her a lot of things you don't know the half of it i've seen you die i've seen a woman with the same name twice your age she said she was my wife every step i take joe gets further away but now she's at the lighthouse nowhere else to go they're all talking. Michelle was also talking about the lighthouse, like they know what it is. Your life, your salvation, and your curse. I taste sweet, don't I? All right, let's get ready for some fully clothed sex. This is why this game, unlike Fahrenheit, this game wasn't banned in the U.S. Because they kept their clothes on. <laughs> you know, European version of Fahrenheit, Delmar, is a no-no in the U.S. Yeah. I was frozen today. Hehehehe. <laughs> Pay attention, there's the Hawaiian shirt. We're close. You fucked her twice. <laughs> 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 
Clark wins. We gotta make that a quote. Damn, son, you fucked her twice. <laughs> oh, God. What was day? today's day? 10th, April 10th. All right. Yeah, Mark, we got some things different than last time. That was a cold welcome. Wait, wait, I gotta grab this. And then pin it to my clipboard to remember to add this to quotes tomorrow. <laughs> For 420? No, it's it's April 10th. J Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, let's get to the lighthouse. 420, blaze it. Oh, okay, you guys. I thought, <laughs> like, where is it? It's 10. It's 420 somewhere, I'm sure. Dahlia. Harry, turn back. I can't. It's too late now. For our daughter's sake. Get it, Mark? Oh, it's already hitting me. All right, just go towards the light. Nothing left, Lyubka. One drop. It's okay. We're almost there. Like, literally, minutes left. Just gotta get to the light. <laughs> you buzzed? <laughs> message from Sybil the police officer this your cute seven-year-old she was arrested and she's not seven yeah it must be cold running in that Hawaiian shirt with that stiff right hand shit 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 here they come Oh, there's nothing. Oh, here they come. They're abstract again. Abstract? Abstract? Yeah, we got them. But they, you can see their bones. That's different. Some of them are cut even. Those are all references. Look, they look different. We got several. I read about that. You can get several kinds at once. In a single playthrough. Depending on what you do. Wait, both, huh? You need to push both at the same time. Oh my god, they're latching on. Oh, leave me alone, you monsters. Leave me alone, all of you. I'm, I'm a good man. I'm a good man. I'm a good man. I'm a good man. I'm a very good man. <laughs> wink, wink. Oh, some of them are very sexual. I wonder what we're gonna get. Just as long as it's not the same ending, because Lupka chose this time. Look, those are pretty sexual. You died at the end of your life. It's the truth, the realization that, uh, you know, as soon as the ending. I wanted to talk about it last time. Was it here? If we look down. Someone at the car, the crashed car. <laughs> There's the car. Two people in front of the car. <laughs> uh, that's Harry with Dahlia on the bed. Do these change, Delmar? I think they get to be different. I can't tell what changes. I've played this game so many times, seen so many variations. It's all a blur. A one nice, very nice blur. Such frigid, very water. There's someone lying next to a car, just like at the start of the game. Yeah, it is, I think. The things you see underwater. There we go. There's the lighthouse, finally! We're making it! Yeah, he should hang out with us more. There it is! Swim, swim faster, Harry! We're gonna go see Cheryl, finally. 
How did she get all all the way here from the car? Like we crashed on the other side of the town. Oh, losing strength. So close. Come on, just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Oh. My, my funniest is sexy Sybil in this winter in her open-breasted uniform. <laughs> You're not stopping me. I'm not here to stop you. I didn't have to fish you out of the water, did I? Stop talking. You can't talk me out of this. I'm not here to stop you. I pulled your file at the station. I told you that, right? If you're telling the truth, this doesn't make sense. But I think you are telling the truth. I believe you think you're Harry Mason. Hell, I believe you are Harry Mason. But Harry Mason was killed in a car crash 18 years ago. You want answers? I guess they're waiting in there. That's the lighthouse. Nothing's quite what you expect, is it? There you go, we got a gun. First thing tomorrow, I'm gonna hand in my badge. I don't think I'm cut out for police work. Not in this town. Alright, she got the same dialogue. Good luck. Thanks. He's so tired. Off she goes into the snow. Like Lego blocks. There's the lighthouse. It's a weird looking lighthouse, wouldn't you think? It's a clinic. Lighthouse Clinic. Michael Kaufman, medical doctor, counseling and family therapy. Awfully eerie. Let's open that brain of ours. And we got Adam. It looks like Harry Mason. So we got Adam and Eve. Harry and Dahlia. Alright, Lupka, are you ready? Here we go. This is it. It's so fucked up. Here we go. This is going nowhere. I'm spelling it out, but you're not listening. Your troubled school days? How you're conflicted about marriage? Your denial of death? The unfounded guilt? Abnormal sexuality? 18 years of denial. A whole universe of fantasy in that thick skull of yours. A skull teeming with agents of repression. Blind children clutching photos in the dark. Pale freaks, goggle-eyed from watching home movies on loop. The term is complicated grief. But it's simple, isn't it? A young girl. Her parents don't get along. She blames herself, as all children do. Then daddy dies. What's a girl to do? Deny that daddy died. Deny who daddy was. What seven-year-old actually knows who their parents are anyway? So she obsesses and obsesses over this fantasy dad propping up her make-believe with scraps, scraps of a happy life that never was, scraps of a father who never existed. Wake up! Your dad wasn't a hero. Wasn't your knight in shining armor. He was a human being. You never knew him. And you never will. The dad walking around in your head isn't even a ghost. He never existed. A Frankenstein's monster, a child's fantasy. But you're alive. Your mother is alive. She's not the monster you make her out to be. You need 
to live your life. Cheryl. so long. I always will be. Oh wow, we got an extended ending. We didn't get this last time, did we? No, extended, different. It is a little different. Here we go, let's see what's ending. Sweet. It is different, yeah. And he, he did freeze, right? That I'll explain what that means. He froze and yeah, and fell apart. Huh. The best ending. Sure. The best fucking ending. Bravo, Lyubka. You said enough. Let's just... Sweetie, don't film this. You know this has nothing to do with you, right? Even though Mom and Dad don't love each other anymore, we both love you. And we always will. But come on. Yeah, it, it, it changes parts of it. That's the genius. Never the whole thing. Oh man, we got this song again. That's good. That's good. I can't... Like, the third time I'm streaming this, we can't get Hell Frozen Rain. Uh, maybe next ending, but yeah. There we go. That was Silent Hill Shattered Memories. My second favorite Silent Hill game and one of the most interesting games I've ever played. <clears throat> That's all, yeah. This is gonna give us an analysis based on what we did. This, this text that's going now, yeah. There's a little scene after this. We'll see how it's gonna go, but yeah. Daddy died 18 years ago. He never existed. So the entire time, it's her idea of a dad that you're controlling. And that scene when he opens the door to Lighthouse, man, it always hits hard. While she's talking to him, you keep, you keep thinking the entire game, you're Harry Mason, you know, at the... At the trying to deal with something from his past, but, you know, none of that happened. He died, and that's it. Yeah, he died at the start of the game. He was dead. Well, yeah. A bit of a dreamer. <laughs> so it's her... It's He's not even a ghost, like he said, like Doctor said. Uh, it's just... She never really knew him. She was only seven when he died, so... Depending on how you play, this can have many variations, but in essence, your in, the entire game you're playing, you're playing with her and what she imagined he would be like. Well, they're, they're, they're about them, that's the thing. So until the very end, you can't tell. They're always like some family, something happens. But if you look at the photos... Oh yeah, he's he died. The, that's, the whole game is her trying to trying to um, let's go in order freaky voice messages they're shown as uh, citizens of Silent Hill but by the end you figure out it's all from their lives basically her memory the shattered memories her memories from the past all colliding into one and yeah and everyone is dead there's not an ending where he's alive in this game because that already happened 18 years ago it's just now you know so like every every consequent playthrough you can actually when you know it's even more powerful so next time I play this you're gonna see things you've never seen not just because we'll get new things but because it'll make more sense that it was that's why I was asking Mark does it make more sense now thanks Kippy this is again beautiful playthrough you're kind will do will do Delmar I'm glad you you wanted to see this game so I'll play it five more times. We are Harry. We are our daughter's delusion. We are 
her shattered memories. <laughs> Ugh. So this song is called Acceptance and it plays when she accepts his death, which is what she did. That's why he froze in front of her and like crushed into ice. He could have been... Uh, he could have, like, he, whenever she accepts, based on how you played and what you did, it's kind of a more positive, so we got the best ending now, but, uh, the ones, uh, the ones I want to get next time, one of those where she doesn't accept his death, so she keeps on living with the mem, with, with, like, a memory of her dad, whatever, with a hallucination almost, and he doesn't freeze, and she, she hugs him, and, or they leave together, something like that. It can get much more creepy. Well, yeah, in the worst ones, she doesn't accept him. And, you know, the, so the, the first is the acceptance scene at uh, at Dr. Kaufman's. That, can, then ha, that has quite a few variations. And then the actual ending is the videotape. So now we got, here we go. She's accepting his death and just putting all the mementos away. All the things that remind her of him. Well, yeah, he's already dead. He died, like I said, he died 18 years ago. It's not about him living, it's about her accepting that he's gone. For 18 years, there's his picture there. For 18 years, she... She, uh... Pretended that he was still there. It's a, it's a game about healing, really, like any Silent Hill is. Silent Hill is always about grief and healing, in a way. We'll do a whole marathon again, soon. But yeah. Yeah, and uh, the guard that was killing the mall, the bloody knife, that's from her. The girl that stole the things from the mall, that was her. The girl that got the dog and daddy ran over the dog, that was her. You know? The mom and dad that fought. So we were almost an alcoholic. At the halfway through the game, you could hear through the messages he was drunk. Because you can end with him being an alcoholic as well. And he's like, get your daddy a beer. Yeah. That's a game with a lot of replay value. So yeah. Again, thanks again for watching, guys. And, you know, second time in a few weeks. I could get used to this. Let's see who we can raid. Four. This one took a little longer. Four and a half hours. Doesn't feel like it, really. I, 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 foolishly, I thought, you know, if I finish the last one in about three hours, then this time I can do it like if I start earlier, I'll be done by nine. <laughs> hey, guys, for almost five hours you were here. Four and a half hours. Bravo. Bravo. Too bad I can't see any more messages. If somebody wrote something, I could see it now, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't see any messages. Who are we gonna raid? Let's raid. Let's raid. Come on, load. Load, you infernal device. Load. Alright, okay, let's try this way. Let's let's raid Pav. Here we go. Pav comedy. Raid my ass. <laughs> oh well do, honey. Just stay there. <laughs> but fully clothed, please. As we've seen. Cool. Co oh you mean like quiet coyote? Well well ne never mind. We're ready. We're raiding Pav comedy. It's been decided. Again, thanks everyone for playing. Little changes in the in the in the schedule. We have a weekly Wednesday, so Mondays. This is the last Monday I'll stream in a while. I'm gonna stream Bye. on Saturdays instead of Mondays. We're gonna have Wednesdays couch co-op with Sasha couch something with Sasha every Wednesday as Bye. fixed. And I'll talk about more about it yesterday because I didn't today. Everybody wants to go to bed. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you. Day or afternoon. I'll see you tomorrow. And I think tomorrow's already four. Keep an eye on the schedule. Bye for now. Bye.